Hey everybody, welcome to Knocked Conscious. Sir, say hello so I can put on my foil. Hello, so you can put on your foil. You just almost wrapped your head around your third chin. Around my head. Welcome to Robin Hood, Men in Tights. What? Tin Foil Brigade, I believe is what we were saying. Um, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to do another uh, conspiracy-esque theory. I think you got to fold that whole thing over. Look, dude, I'm short night Napoleon. <laughs> You're about, you might be taller than Napoleon, bro. How tall is Napoleon? Like five. Don't beer Google it. Something, I'm not going to Google it. This thing is just, but I'm I'm feeling happy about your my, super my plutonium sparkly. P38 space modulator. I'm going to blow up the earth. I don't think I'm Napoleon. I think I just have a sailboat on my head backwards. <laughs> it's a schooner. <laughs> you dumb bastard. S- it's not a schooner. It's a sailboat. Schooner tuna. The tuna sco- with a heart. A schooner is a sailboat, dummy head. You know what? There is no Easter bunny. That's, isn't that the worst? Mar-rats. That's another. That I'm might be so a scene. sad when I, I found out there's no Easter bunny. I know. When I heard there was no bunny, you know, it's funny. I was like, what? Then what are we eating on Easter? Well, when Jesus came out of the tomb on yeah. Easter Sunday yeah. and there was all these bunnies and they we were hiding eggs. I was like, what do you mean there's no Easter bunny? <laughs> that seems to be right Did here. Did you read the gospel of Matthew chapter 7 verse 4? Yeah. Where's the Easter bunny, bro? Well, bro, first of all, you have to wait like 30 years before he dies before you can write about him. Oh. That's that's our landscaper. Whoa. After that, your landscaper. You gotta figure out. Oh my God. Oh, bro, I'm going to hell for that one. <laughs> so that's a joke, everybody. We know, we know. So. Yes. I believe this is one you brought to me. Um, we, I mean, we've talked about it a million times, but we've never got, we've never been on the record. Because nothing says on the record like two grown ass fucking idiots with tinfoil on their heads. <laughs> I like to be on the record for how I feel about this conspiracy theory because this tinfoil adds credo. Is this conversation for the record? Am I wearing my tinfoil hat? <laughs> yeah, I'm, er, all right, sir, my, my fellow tinfoil brigader, you are the admiral of the tinfoil brigade. <laughs> so what are you like? I'm just a seaman. seaman first class. I'm just a seaman. So the title of today's podcast, Seaman Checkmark. Ew. I don't know, bro. Go. Seaman yes. first class? Sure. I like seaman first class. Of course you do. I like first class seaman. <laughs> Oh, this is going to be this bad. This is going to be bad. Let's just get into it. You, mm-hmm. But it's on you, man. Was the moon landing faked? What a great question. So basically the question is real or fake, right? Did it really happen or did it not happen? Yeah. And we staged it. Did the thing. United States of America in 1969 or any year? July, it. was it ninth? Oh, shit. Eight? I should have looked that July shit July 8th? It's like coming up. It's like literally around the corner from right, right now when we're talking. Right now, right now? Yeah, right now, right now. Uh, I think it's July 8th. Yeah, I think it's something like that. I'm with you. Does we'll, it matter? We'll correct July it. July 8th, 69. Yeah, sure. sure. July 69th. July 69, bro. We got a whole month, at least, with that. We got a moon days. month. We got 31 days to figure it out. Sure. <laughs> All right. So, did it happen or not? Is that... Uh, that is the question, is that yeah. there? there's quite a few conspiracy theories that say the moon landing was faked, that the American government f- in a film studio f- filmed actors in outfit, it, in astronaut gear, mm-hmm. jumping around a sound studio, and then they released that as the astronauts on the moon. Right. So... I have, sped up the footage and did obviously all the special effects. Yes. Back in 69. And then that footage was released to billions of the people around the world as the astronauts on the moon. Yeah. How many billion? I wonder how many billion were even there in 69. Do you want to beer Google it? We'll, we'll Google it after. I don't want to fucking beer it Google it. Uh, well, yeah, because we, we cross particle streams all the all time. All of the streams. So let me ask you. Okay, so that's a that's a great question. Did this fucking thing happen? Yes. So let me ask you this. Yes. Growing up. Yes. You you and I grew up after. Yes. You were born the year of the last landing. I, I think. was born 72? in seventy one. Seventy one. So, so you sh- whatever. You might add two or three of the landings because between sixty nine and seventy two, I believe I may be off by a number or two, but I think there are about twelve people that 
step foot on the moon, allegedly. I think that's right. I think that's correct. So I think it was groups of like, it's, it was either two, 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 or like two, 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 three, three Something kind of like thing. That. Something sure. like that. Who cares? Regardless, but 12 people total. Because the first one was only two people, right? Yes. Because the one guy had to be in the orbiter guy. Orbiter guy. The orbiter guy. Took a picture. That was his name, it. John Orbiter. <laughs> he had an orbital bone. He had two of them, even. Right? <laughs> so growing up, well, you... I was one when the first one, the, right. when the last one was there. So I really remember that one well. We had we had it on Betamax and VHS and shit. So <gasps> did they have Betamax back then? No, dude. Oh, shit, oh, fuck man, this thing is just dude. Your hat's fucked up, bro. Fix your hat. Well, I, I'm working on Would it. Would you man. like to borrow the Napoleon hat? I may, I might, I might, but I don't want to make all the crinkly sounds in the meantime. I love it. Yeah, it's pretty hot. But growing up is what I mean. Is like obviously you, you and I did not experience it on TV. We Correct. Didn't see not this live. Shit. Yeah, not live by any means. Obviously, it's been on television multiple times, but you and I haven't seen it. Didn't see it live. So growing up, did you ever question it? No, absolutely not. Not never. Agreed. Never, I, never, 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 never. I'm like, Merca's the best. We land on the fucking moon. As a matter of fact, I use that as a <laughs> I use that as an insult to pretty much everyone I speak with whom I speak because it'd be like this. I work in uh, it slash, uh, copy or, you know, technology kind of thing. And somebody would be like, I'm out of black toner. My light didn't come on. And I'll be like, lady, we put the man on the moon 50 years ago and we don't have a machine that lights up when it's low. Come on, please. Come on. Toots. Like, it's like, oh, I'm out of gas. I didn't know. Like, your engine light or the little fuel gauge didn't give it away? Man on the moon, 50 years. That was one of my excuses. So, I obviously was all in that we did it. I I, st- I also say that. Until maybe probably 20 or 30 or so when I started going, hmm. Because you start seeing these things pop up after. When we grew up, there wasn't the interwebs. So none of like, the cybers. None of it till. Late 90s to, you know, 92. Yes. AOL 93. online, bitches. Thank you. 93, <laughs> I think we had our, we had at school as a grant, and it was all text-based. It was yeah, like Telnet I, and whatever. It wasn't even pictures. Telnet. Yeah, you remember Telnet, bro? Whoa. I still use Telnet. Oh, don't why? tell anybody. Stop it. Don't tell Net anybody. Oh, dear. Don't ever say that again. Um, well, it's the most secure thing is nobody gives a fuck about it. Is it clear text? It's just text-based. Yeah, it's all crazy. But then you can make a rose by doing a line and an apostrophe and then a line and then a comma and then a line and an at sign. Hello. Looks just like a rose to me. So anyway, so we didn't have the interwebs. What? So, <laughs> so like Go conspiracies ahead. didn't really come up probably till the interwebs. I mean, we had conspiracies all the time, but like it would be only when a news station would show the conspiracy, right? And considering all the information comes from like three sources. But don't you think... May I ask a question? Yeah, yeah. Don't you, uh, Christopher, in the back, Christopher? Yes. Don't you think that? Well, prior to this, since 1947, people have been talking about Roswell, New Mexico. Yes. So, and that was so in 1950, 1960, 1965, people have been talking about Roswell, right? Right. So, in Area 51. Right, but this is the difference right now that I'm seeing. How was conspiracy theorist? At Area 51, getting out the message. Yeah. Flyers and diff- news. Yeah. Like, right. They it weren't. was fucking sneaker net, bro. Yeah. You had to, you had to get a mailer or whatever. Right? Yeah. Like it wasn't just like, I Hey, understand. I could tweet the moon landing never happened right now. And we'd get a gazillion fucking responses. Cause yeah. you hashtag NASA, hashtag moon, hashtag landing, hashtag all Buzz that shit. Aldrin. Buzz. I'm buzzed. <laughs> it's good. Um, but you understand that, right? I, so it's, it's yes. not not whether conspiracies existed, okay. But the lay person, method. right? The lay person didn't have access to all of. Yeah, we heard right. Area Fifty One, but we never saw like video footage. Now you can send like you know, people intercepting like NASA signals and going, "Hey, that thing shut off, right?" Is whatever. So, boom. So you come to me with the moon land. Did it happen? And when did you start being skepticalish about uh, it or questioning it? I don't. Well, adulthood. I don't even know if I'm skeptical. I just know okay. that there's, I keep seeing stupid things on Netflix and Amazon prime about did the moon landing really happen? 
here's a conspiracy theory episode, and mm-hmm. then this happens, and then so and and I've watched a couple of them, and some of them have interesting points, mm-hmm. and some of them are fucking stupid as shit. Do you remember a fucking stupid one? Yeah. Can you share one, or do you have off the top of your head, or do you have to look it up? No, because uh, I love I love the stupid ones. Like <laughs> those are my favorite. Like no, uh, we we hired horses, trained horses to fly the planes into the buildings. Oh, I didn't see that. No, one. I'm just. I was like, I'm just saying, like, come on. Horses? No, how fu- like some of the fucking conspiracies are fucking so um, <laughs> well orchestrated, meaning. Uh, yeah, th- there was there's a show on Netflix called Conspiracy Theories, and it's there's a season or two, whatever. Mm-hmm. And there's episode eight or nine is about the moon landings. So I watched that shit, and uh, there's three or four people that believe that it's fake, and there's three or four people that believe that it's real. So there's one dude that uh, he takes the, a Bible to all 12 astronauts that landed on the moon and asked them to swear on the Bible that they were actually there. And none of them do it. Not one of them will swear on the Bible. And uh, (laughs) so correlatively they didn't land on the moon. So by direct correlation in this man's mind, (gasps) they were not a transitive properties state that they were not on the moon, sir. I'm going to give you a transitive property. You ready? A plus B equals C. Go. You are a mammal. 10% of mammals exhibit homosexual tendencies. I'm a homosexual. You exhibit homosexual tendencies. Welcome to transitive verb, everybody, or transitive relation, everybody. That's the way to fucking do that. That's the way to fucking ruin any trans. Whenever do A equals B and B equals C, it's kind of like uh, fucking sports. Oh, well, fucking UCLA beat USC, so they must beat... Uh, Alabama, right? Nah, yeah. Well, because USC beat Alabama, and, that, and USC LA yes. beat USC, so bullshit. Right. Anyway, the, I thought that one was fucking hilarious as well. But I also did find it the funny that no one just went, "Yeah, sure, I fucking did it." Like, right. I and that's I did like out of the twelve of them, not one guy was like, "Dude, just shut the fuck up, go get away from me, man." Except for Buzz, who this punched is the, him. This is the third time that you've harassed me in three months. Yes, fuck. Okay, go away. Yeah, but he, uh, and then didn't one Buzz guy, beat him up? Didn't Buzz punch one, him? One guy went into the camera and was like, didn't say anything, but just like that to the camera. Yep, and I then and then Buzz Aldrin, well, he called Buzz, I believe, a, a coward yeah, and a something. liar yes. to his face. And then Buzz fucking, and Buzz was like 75. Buzz doesn't fuck around. And Buzz right mm-hmm. fucking hooked him to the jaw. It was bad. I was like, oh. It was nasty. And I don't know if you know Buzz. Buzz has got like serious dementia issues oh, or whatever. Oh, that. yeah. His family took over his thing and he's been fighting to, or he had been. Didn't he pass? I don't know. I think he did. But he, he would he was fighting to get it back because he was getting dementia. Oh. But he was a loony too. He was like the coolest dude. But his name fucking Buzz. I mean, his nickname was Buzz. And it was his, his name. Like no one. His what's name his real was name? Buzz Aldrin. Yeah. What's his I first name? His real Dick. Name. Dick Aldrin. <laughs> uh, John Aldrin. I don't fucking know. So something Buzz Aldrin. (laughs) It's an interesting point that the guy no one would swear on the Bible. The guy this the guy tracked down all twelve astronauts that walked on the moon. That took some effort. That was that. But they're all alive or whoever, right? You know, and this this took place over many years. It wasn't just like in a month, right? So right, but not. I found it interesting that not one dude was just like, yeah, okay. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Shut the fuck up. Go away. Right. Yes, I. yeah. I swear I was there. Fuck off. Like, that's what I would have done. Just get out of my face, dude. Fuck you. What was telling to me was just the, the silence, though, of them not saying anything. Yeah. I found that a little telling. Yes. Not, you know, obviously, like, you can't disprove a negative. So, like, just because a guy didn't swear on the Bible doesn't mean he didn't do it. I Yeah. I it, get that. But they were just stone cold statues. Yeah. Like they had a, it was very eerie because that, they didn't refute it. No, they didn't, they didn't say, even. Yeah. Their oh, mouths didn't even open. It's not like the video was edited and they were going, it was right. They were tight lipped. And the guy that walked to the camera was just like, yes, he was like, he was like, a, and he covered it up. Correct. And that was interesting. I also found it interesting that, 
I hope I did that right. It was phenomenal. Oh, I mean, dude, best supporting actor goes to oh, check mark. Thank you. Oh, check. Well, Czechoslovakia is landed on moon. When I pull down paints, yes. you see full. Full, full moon. moon. All day. And then someone put hand on it. They put hand, someone handed on the moon. I have an Sorry. important question for Checkmark. Oh. If the moon was made of cheese, would you eat it? <laughs> hey, everybody. <laughs> this is Harry Carey. If the moon was made out of cheese, would you eat it? I would. <laughs> Best Will Ferrell. <gasps> Fuck, that is. Uh, Checkmark eats all kinds of cheese, yes. All I am cheese. backed up for months in my <laughs> abdominal area. In your colon cleansing? Ugh. It, Intestinal I, track? Oh, it's so hard to poop sometimes. Yes, goat cheese. cheese. Goat. Cow, kitten, kitten I milk cheese, cat. delicious. I milk cat all day. Cat oh. milk, cat milk cheese is better goat's milk cheese. Yes, yes. Colby Jack, little little tiny I, cat nipples. If if cockroach have nipple, I try to milk yes. also. The password is I just cat eat them nipple. Whole. The password is kitten nipple. <laughs> <laughs> the password. Um. Hello, Steven. <laughs> Okay, so uh, uh, th- another interesting point about this document or fucking Netflix thing, documentary. I don't want to use that word because that's I don't think it's accurate. But they they had a point about the fact that in 1967, two years before the moon landing, supposed moon landing, alleged moon landing, whatever. We're I don't. That's not. Uh, I'm not before, saying one, before this. Yeah. Well, the conspiracy. <clears throat> two years prior to our claim that we landed on the moon, <clears throat> Apollo one, I think. They they had an explosion. Well, they had many, but there was an explosion on the tarmac, on the launch Correct. pad, on, on the launch, launch pad, mm-hmm. and three astronauts were killed, including Gus Grissom, who was the number one astronaut, the most well liked astronaut, the most well known in the American public. Yeah, he. It was only because of the moon landing that Armstrong and Aldrin got their names. Correct. What, they were not names. Where Gus Grissom was like the poster child. Uh, very. Just popular, correct? Yes. To your point. Uh, yeah. And I thought it was also interesting that two years, two and a half years prior to the moon landing, you have an explosion of the same rocket on the launch pad. On a test. Yeah. Like, okay. With that guy in it. Well, okay, yes. So there's that conspiracy right there. It's like, okay, did they, did they get rid of the number one astronaut because he was outspoken? Well, we didn't talk about his outspokenness yet. Let's just talk about the event. Okay. Then we'll talk about where that plays into the event. B, B, which is important. I don't, we can talk about that, but more in my mind, more importantly is logically and technically in two and a half years, you go from an explosion of the same rock, a Saturn five rocket, which is what went to the moon, Saturn five. Two and a half from January 67 to July 69, you go from a rocket that explodes and kills three guys, and there's nothing. The the fucking thing was just destroyed. Yeah. You go from the top part, just yeah, like it goes from that incinerated three men Mm. to being to landing on the moon. That seems like, and it, it, nowadays we could do that because the technology advances so quickly. Right. And but in six, from sixty seven to sixty nine, that seems like, how did they do that? Could they really identify the problem and fix it that quickly? Right. And th- to your point, that's how it all had to be done. Back in the day, it had to be trial and error. You, in in Russia's sense, okay, Russia had a rocket that I think there's a really interesting documentary about. The style, that the rocket that they used initially in their race, the way it was built is so well engineered that they're using it as like a template for like future rock. It's really interesting. I'll, I'll find, I'll share that one with you. But what it was, was they had 12 or 13 pl- flights planned. So all four, the first four blew up in right Russia. away. Right in Russia. So they, they're like, okay, well we tweak that. Poof. We tweak that. Poof. We tweak that. Poof. And then they just stopped the program. They didn't continue that. The whole what point were those was manned. No, no, no. They were all unmanned. Okay. And the point was to get the rocket where they needed to go. To, but they all always blew up on the tarmac, or they'd make it halfway up and then crash back down. Right. But they had it. They just needed to fine tune it. And you can't do it in a in a vacuum like now with computer. You had to do it back then. Okay. So to your point, what they did was, and did you watch uh, First Man at all? Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. Watching that 
scene of how they did it with the like the I hearing the audio the radio oh yeah with Gus, hearing There's that a fire in the, the cockpit right, fire in, the, in the cockpit in the ugh, I'm gonna get all crazy because yeah like, it's I, fucked up you're burning alive and you're yeah you're well they died radio. so quickly but they were talking well yeah so they but weren't. That- <laughs> they weren't until they were right. Like I know, but it's just that imagine seeing the flame coming out. Like, yeah. And then you, but you're dead in like seconds. Right. There's, you're just charred. So violent. Yeah. But regardless, that was so heartbreaking to hear that. Yeah. And looking inside and just seeing just ash. Yeah. You're just gone. Yeah. But, but to your point. So basically the thing about Gus Grissom that made it interesting. I didn't know that he spoke. The point was he spoke out pretty critically of the program. He said, there's no way we'll get there. You know, we're, we're wasting our money. Like he, he was pretty outspoken about that. The, um, the image in the, in the episode of the clothes hanger, clothing hanger with the lemon on it that he hung on the spaceship, yeah. which, um, I didn't know this, but apparently that's the symbol for this aircraft is a lemon. Right. Do you believe that that's accurate that he did that? Do you think that that's what do you think that that is true? The way they painted the conspiracy, he hung it and took the picture. Now, guys, in America, a lemon, you can get a lemon in a car. And, and a it's, Ford. It's, right. I mean, they call it a lemon. It's, yeah. it's always been it's been the case, right? Yeah. It's kind of like the whole thing. When you get lemon, make lemonade. I mean, there's lemons have that kind of connotation. But he actually said he was claiming this thing was a lemon by hanging a lemon on a hanger on the fucking rocket itself, on the capsule. That was really freaky. And I don't know. I wasn't alive. I didn't know the right. reaction back then. I'd love to see. Right. But I had never was it televised. Ever... Did anyone know? Like how far did that picture get circulated right back then you could control a lot of media way differently. Yeah. There's no, I can't send a tweet. Yeah. There's no leaking of information then unless you had an inside source and that was taking a piece of paper and taking it to the New York times. Right. Imagine me taking a picture on Instagram right now of a picture on the lemon. And now all my millions of Gus Grissom followers. Right. Um, so he was just, and that was kind of the final straw. They, they, they theorize or yes, hypothesized yes and then the tragedy and then you go did they kill him first of all did they also kill two other completely to make it look like it was an accident like because some guy was outspoken against the government what's scary in today's world is we've come across things that have happened like that so telling me that is that like asking me like a question i it's very feasible to me Absolutely. It's the government's scarily, done way worse for yeah. way less reasons. Yeah, it's eerily feasible. And actually, this is one of the biggest reasons to do it. You're against, you're trying to show your prowess to the world compared to the other people, right? The Russians. So it's yes. you, U.S., freedom, America, capitalism, and the direct form of communism, the direct yeah. you're, you know, antithesis. Yeah, during the Cold War. Yeah. So who wins, right? That's really what it came down to. We had to win the race because we didn't put the first man up. We didn't put the first dog up. We, didn't, we were way behind. Then why didn't they just say, hey, Gus, you're not the number one guy anymore? I think, I don't know. You're out of the program. That. Right. And that's the or thing. Or did he know too much because he was too, he knew all the secrets of how he probably it worked. He could have, I mean, he could have leaked. Defected. We should have known if he was, if he was maybe, if it's conspiracy, right? And if he was supposed to be the, he was the first guy. It wasn't Armstrong. It was Gus. He, Gus was Gus one. was supposed to go. Yeah. And if he was already practicing on the set, he's got all that. He's got all that in his back pocket. There, you know what I mean? You can't let him go. You have to kill him. You, you have to make certain that that information doesn't get out. I'm never going to say to kill anybody, but you have to make sure that information doesn't get out. What's the best way to do it, though? Yeah. You know there. So that was a big one. Yeah. What, what, uh, well, that also goes back to what we, we said th- three episodes ago about Operation Northwoods and how the, the most senior government official was wanted to kill American citizens to lure Cuba into a war. Yeah. So that doesn't, you know, we, he, who knows how many Americans would have gotten killed just to lure Cuba into a war so that unfortunately more American soldiers would have died. And this is one it, dude. And it made it to the president's desk. Yeah. Like, let's not kid ourselves. Northwoods, which we talked about in our other one, was made it to the president's desk to sign. He just didn't sign it. Right. 
So, hey guys, we need to beat Russia. Let's be honest. It's Kennedy and Johnson during the 60s. Right? And then Nixon 61, in 69. Right, 61, he's inaug- uh, Kennedy's inaugurated. inaugurated. But they're already behind the space race. Yeah. I mean, Gagarin, all those guys, all, all that shit happened. Right. So we were behind with Eisenhower already. Even. Yeah. We were already behind kind of Russia. Uh, and we talked about Operation Paperclip, too. We can kind of fold yeah. that in. We'll talk about yeah. that again. But so, so 61, and then he died in 63. Yeah. Johnson served the remainder and, and, and one term, 68, correct? correct? So he served to 68. So really that decade was the Kennedy- Johnson. Correct. Decade. Correct. So when Kennedy started in 61, it says, we're going to put a man on the moon in the next, in 10, next years. 10 years. Um, era, era. When he did that, now we had to. We, if, if we're going to say we're the superpower that we are or whatever, yeah. we have to do what we say we're going to do. Yeah. At least to the world. Right. So, yeah. So that's really interesting. And I'm curious how far it got even in Kennedy from 61 to 63. How far did it go? Cause obviously he was gone then and Johnson would have been the one who really inherited everything. And Nixon would have been, he was an elected in 68. Correct. And started in six, so he actually got the moon landing credit. Well, it happened during his presidency right. and it happened. That's an, just popped in my head. It only happened in his presidency. Correct. 69. 71, he, he resigned? 73? Well, 70, 71 or 73 because, well, Ford, he had 72 would have been another election, right? Yeah, didn't he get reelected? He did. And then he resigned but, because but of But it had to be between 69 and 70, through, 69, 74, 75 that he got, that, that Nixon Because Ford never ran for office. Nixon got reelected and then Watergate happened. Oh, so Nixon. Okay. So that's what happened. Nixon was serving his second term when Watergate. Yeah, okay. I think we're going to have to figure that out. But regardless between <laughs> is 69. It's definitely, well, no, Nixon would have come in 73 because Carter got elected 76. Correct. So 72 was when Nixon got elected. Uh, reelected. Okay. Cause it was 68. Right. Damn. We got to look at 68 our was when, was when they, um, was when the Democratic National Convention was in Chicago and there was the riots. Right. And that's where that Nixon got the bid from the Democratic Party. You know, he was a Republican. We're going to look that up. But regardless, anyway, it's pretty much in Nixon's yeah. tenure what more I thought, than anyone else, right? Yeah. And then it stopped in 72. Prior... To any prior to Carter, seventy six, obviously correct. But, but there was not that was just this little, little window. Three years yeah. of twelve people landing on the moon. How long? Three years. <laughs> Three years. My Christopher Walken. Um, what we need more cowbell. That's fucking what shitty I Walken, what sorry. I thought during the episode was the the day that the moon landing took place how many American soldiers were killed in Vietnam that day? I have no idea, but wow. Most, I never even, so <sighs> America was in Vietnam for 10 years, 53,000 Americans died. The likelihood of a soldier dying on that day is very high. More, probably 15, 20, 40, whatever. Right. So can you imagine watching the moon landing and a, and a, and a priest and a, a major in the army knocking on your door. I'm so sorry, Mrs. Johnson, but your son Brian was killed in Vietnam three days ago. Can you imagine associating the moon landing with your son's death? No, but that was fucking but think dark. about think about how it just gave me chills thinking about it. Think about how I've got other things to think about. Go ahead, go. Think please. about how I don't jaded. Those parents and the sister and brother. Imagine you're 12 and your 18 year old brother was killed in Vietnam or 19. No, 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 19. Your 19 year old brother was killed in Vietnam and all, it, you find out three days later, but he was killed on the day of the first moon landing. Right. And you're like, you automatically associate 
the moon landing with your brother's death. Never and there's nothing you can you can nothing you can do about it. Every time you turn on MTV and you see the rocket dun 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 Oh dun, dun, shit with the guy in the, the little MTV flag. Every little... time you see the MTV rocket oh, go fuck, up, man. Don't think, don't blow my mind like that. I'm you smoking. see, you know what I mean? And that all happened in my head in like 5 seconds like because ev- the whole thing was about the moon landing. Whether it was fake or not, that's not the point right now. Right. But America, not only America, the world believed it happened. Right. And but, what did that mean? Right. Like, Go ahead. Finish we, the point because I've got- The yeah. American taxpayer and the American government spent- I, billions. billions. It, was, it, was, it was $25 billion or some $9 billion. It was, it was a huge number in 60s numbers. Yes. So trillions like, in yeah. America now. Oh my God! Inflate uh, adjusted for inflation. I don't even know the number, but, but they, it's ridiculous. They, that day when that moon landing, when that Apollo rocket took off three days earlier, and when they landed on the moon, that's all the world looked at. They Correct. did not give a shit about Vietnam that day. Well, we were the only I, ones. I, left. I, I don't know. I wasn't. Well, alive. I'm gonna I'm gonna say that America was pretty much the only ones left in Vietnam. Well, no so shit. All the it French meant, were gone. The world doesn't give a fuck but about the, us. But the American and I always wondered. That's that. what I'm saying. We're gonna talk about. That's what made me think something different. But it, the, I'm assuming mm-hmm. the American public they watched the news every night and yeah. they saw the Vietnam War on TV every single you know in front of their fucking TVs right. with their TV trays and their fucking chauffeur sofas. Fuck's it all. Stofers. Excuse me. Stouffer's uh, TV dinners, fo- TV dinners that had that was covered with this. Yeah, I, I mean, I didn't, yeah. I wasn't alive, so That's I don't foil. know, but I imagine that they watched the war on TV because it was yeah, on it was every day. Well, NBC had, Nightly News. Yeah, every day. But during Not that Florida. time, the the moon landing was was unbelievable because it literally was not on the planet. Yeah, and the, but yet there was boys that couldn't have a fucking beer. That are dying for their country from yep. in a rice paddy, and that was also to do what? Do you know the reasoning for being in Vietnam was what? Democracy. To, fuck no, you. to fight com- communism, oh, right? That's, like that's what I mean. all these things were fights so against. Stupid. It's a stupid. Let's you know MacArthur. Let's bomb fucking Korea before it gets out. <sighs> little extreme, people. A little bit extreme. But I, but, but you see my point about yes. Vietnam was overshadowed by the moon for. A, I don't know how for how long. It was a good a good two three days till we got another well, shiny metal right, object. But then, and when did we pull out of Vietnam? Do you remember seventy three? Seventy three is last. Okay, officially was the Saigon was siege the Saigon and thing. all that okay. shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so, but this is what's interesting is like think about it like this: what other factors do does America need to fucking get on the moon? Why else besides just beating the Russians and looking good? We were losing for like five to ten years in a war. I didn't. It didn't even. I didn't even think about Vietnam till you just said it. And it's like we were losing the last four or five years. Sixty-five to seventy. We're probably well. Like what Did I'm we saying is, ever win. No, but do you remember how the propaganda spun to like oh, the yeah. reality of like we're losing this? If thing. you look, this at is the, not good. If you look at the what, what was the date of the Pentagon Papers written by the goddamn Secretary of State uh, McNamara? He said. This is an unwinnable war. Yes. Yeah. So every day on TV, on the news, young people are getting killed. Americans, only Americans. The world could France give a was fuck. Gone. Correct. They, they were gone. They left and told us not to go in. In the fifties, yeah. they left. Uh, do you remember conspiracy theory? Gulf of Tonkin. Holy shit! They're all kind of, they're all kind of coming together. But to your point, we're losing a war day after day after day, twenty four seven, for the last four or five years. America kind of needed a win. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and they were desperate for a fucking win. But yet, yeah. So why didn't we pull out? Because it's embarrassing? Well, this, with this we shouldn't go down. There two, v- there, well, there's two sides of that, right? One is like, how can we how can we control the world physically, like on the boots on the ground, all that shit? Yeah. Right? Like part of it. But how do we beat them philosophically? Or how does capitalism beat democracy, communism? Right. right. How does democracy beat you know, tyranny or whatever. Yeah, right. You know, so that there's so many different angles going Crap. in there. Yeah. But I'll be honest, man, we're lucky to fucking be in democracy. <laughs> I know it sounds crazy, but fu- the shit we do for the shit we have, man. I, you look, mean like tinfoil hats? And I could get it at Costco right now if I wanted. Just like put your mask on. 800, first. 800 miles for $32,000. That's like their bulk. 
Yeah. Like five yeah. gallons of mayonnaise. You need a fourth mortgage for all the foil. <laughs> for all the foils. But to your point, it's like, we need to win badly. And how, it just makes, like, logical sense. You pumped all this money into this, right? Adjusted for dollars, whatever. I think it was $25 million, or billion, if I'm not mistaken, in 60s money. Did you look it up? I didn't. But Nixon was 69 to 73, so. Yeah, I know. Got our, it was a re-election. I'm good at presidents, bro. Whoa. I'm good at states, but not capitals. Alaska. Juno. I mean, no, I don't know. No, Juno. G- Juno. 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 Um, you know who's, who's coming? Come, who's coming over for dinner? <laughs> Juno. Juno. Uh, so I'm going to look that up while we talk some more. But to your point, we're losing all this time. We need to win. You're spending X amount of dollars, and I'll get the dollar amount in a second. But <laughs> imagine spending all that money and getting nowhere. At what point do you go? Well, what's? I don't know the numbers, but what's? A hundred million dollar studio in 1960. What could that buy? That 25 billion didn't, right? Or whatever. It's like, oh yeah, drop in the fucking bucket. But don't you think, it, it, let's say it is fake and it was filmed in a sound studio yeah. in Hollywood or okay. wherever. Or studio London. 237? Yeah, no, yeah right, kidding. yeah. Fuck yeah. So it would cost nothing. Right. It would be, it would be, it would be one tenth of one percent of NASA's budget. Mm-hmm. It would be like, a, it wouldn't even be a million dollars. It would be a shitty second rate movie. 25.4 B billion with a B. Can anyone see that? Is yeah. that today's dollars? No, that's, that was actual dollars. In the sixties. Yep. April, 1961 <sighs> or 1961 to 1973. Wow. 25.4 B with a B. So 2 billion a year, two plus billion a year. God damn think about that and 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 let's just talk logically no if we got nowhere yes we, after that and we had to win i think of alternatives i'm i'm not saying to fake it but i'm hey can we get another idea up here because we need to win we need to win right what else what other options might there have been right why Tonight. do we need to win i mean okay let's not talk about vietnam why did we have to beat the russians in the space race same reason we went into vietnam the spread of communism was a scare. There was a scare from the 50s. To the moon? No, because it looked to the world. If, like we were weak? If Right. If I was a country, a fledgling country, like a, if my name was Castro, and I'm like, hey, I want to, you know, obviously it wasn't done that way because it was a revolt, right? It was a revolution. But say I owned a country, and I wasn't sure which way I want to go. And America's like, well, you should have free election, man. This capitalism shit, this democracy is really awesome. And you got, hey, no, this this communism, great idea. We got, look, hey, look, we got on the moon first. If it wasn't for communism, you'd not get on moon. So it's more of a, it was the, the show of the power, the reach. Like to get to the moon would be saying that you can reach further than any human as a society ever has, right? So it makes sense. I, it's all political bullshit, man. But so are fucking wars. Like, let's not kid ourselves. Like, it's all about power, control, whatever. It's how it looks. Yeah. I never heard Johnson ever talk about the space race. I've never seen... Now that I'm thinking, I've not seen Lyndon Johnson make a speech. I've seen Kennedy's speech a million times. Right. Not because it is easy, but because, because it is hard. hard. Yeah. But go Boston Patriots. New England's best best clam chowder. Drinking from the bubbler. Your accent might be worse than my Dreyfus. Richard Dreyfus. Oh, oh, oh shit. Oh, we got a hat down. Oh, hat down. We got a piper down. Piper down. <laughs> if you okay, want my back. body okay. and then you think I'm sick, sexy, come on, baby. baby. Let me Hang know. Hang solo. Hey, <laughs> keep it. He's like he's like Sputnik that he's boy. Like Spherical. an orange on a toothpick. He's like he's like Sputnik that boy. Spherical. He's pointy and Sleep on a big pillow. Oh, his big pillow. <laughs> his big pillow. It's like an orange on a toothpick. That boy. He's gonna cry himself to sleep on his big pillow. Head. By the way, I think that's that's gonna be Pants on, that's now. Gonna be, that's gonna be on there. Or it could just be Stephen Wright falling asleep in the plane, flying the plane. Mm. <laughs> So I married next murder, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, some good we, shit right there. We can fucking bring in anything. So back to the moon. Tangent. I don't know, man. I don't. I don't. So well, well, now we're watching this stuff, and let's get down to the nitty gritty. 
did we have the technology to put tinfoil literally on the outside of these things and land them on a foreign surface that's one sixth the mass? How do we have all the engineering, the numbers using slide rules and whatnot? No computer simulations, all manually done. Testing and practicing on the Earth, which is a totally different gravity. You know, and they talk about the simulation gravity was similar, like in the water and all that stuff. But like, go. I, fuck, I got nothing. <laughs> Seriously? So do you think we had the technology to fly up, escape s- the atmosphere to meet the, the moon as it's coming around? Well, actually, it's, uh, it's tidally locked. So it, re- it revolves, exa- it always faces the Earth, the same size faces the Earth. So it's never, it's not like. It's not spinning on its own axis like the Earth does. Correct. But it's also like, yes. And it's also got its own weird orbit where it's always facing the Earth. But you have to shoot out here for it to come, you know, around. Yeah. So like you have to do all that math. Well, that's not that hard. In a vacuum, which space may have been at some point. They didn't know. Right. So like what other obstacles could you run into that would cause us to miss Oh, we're out of fuel. Boom. We, we're behind it. Well, you know, or we're yeah, ahead of it and right. we can't slow down. Like the Millennium Falcon and <laughs> fucking How many USS parsecs? Enterprise and shit. Yeah, all and of those. Fucking Boba Fett's ship. You got all kinds of fucking problems. Well, parsecs, bro. All the parsecs. Um, so that's the first thing. Do you think, let's break it down. Do you think that technically we could do that part? Get there. Like physically just shoot a rocket on the moon. And I think the answer is yes, because I think Russia did a robot. They have a, they had a, I think they actually landed something on the moon before we did. Like a sex I, bot? No, like a tank ish looking thing. That doesn't which, sound very which sexy. probably sounds like every ex girlfriend I may have been with. That doesn't sound very <laughs> appealing. <laughs> it sounds very Russian. It's very, very Russian. Does that sound like Checkmark's first wife? Oh, my. Yes, sh- my, my, my first co- wife was very much like a she tank. She was built like a goddamn armored transport carrier. <laughs> She's like, you ATP. know why? She you know was why? ATP. You know why she was built that way? Why? Because there were 32 people inside of her. Oh, God. At the same time, well, I was videoing it. She I put it on Betamax. <laughs> DADV. Oh, dear Lord. 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 Um, so, so the Russians. Please put, answer my. Well, what do you think? We have the technology. At least just shoot a rocket from here to get to the moon. The the trajectory and the the math and the physics. I think I think is is not complex because we understand gravity and we understand mass and acceleration and we okay it takes a certain amount of okay we know the weight of the rocket is x we know the fuel is y we know to break the gravity is z so we that's you know and these dudes are all doctors in in fucking physiology and so we got a doctor for the a phd not a fucking medical doctor we got a phd for to take care of the astronauts. We get a PhD that's going to be a structural engineer for the fucking, the Saturn V. So everything in theory, I think, is relatively easy for them. Not well, I'm f- breaking it down into multiple parts. My first question simply is, do we have the technology at the time, do you think, to just shoot a rocket, point it, and hit the moon? And your answer is yes. Right. I agree. I agree with you. I think we can figure out Newtonian laws to figure out the orbit and hit it and and get it on. We're talking about a dart on a dartboard. We're not even talking about the lander yet. We're just talking about can you shoot a can rocket? We crash something into yes. the moon. That my point is just can we just get it to the moon? That's the first step, right? Because you can't land well, anything until you can get out, get, of, get out of Earth's atmosphere. Right. Okay, so even better. Can yeah. we escape? Yes, we can. We just keep the rockets a little more fuel. We don't We don't turn. We go straight and we just get away from the gravity. gravity. Right? Yeah. I think we can easily get away from that. Do you? I also think we can get to the moon physically. I think you could just, and it crashes into a fucking crater. What are your thoughts on that? Because if you can't even answer that, then the whole thing's I just, fucking fake. I, 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 I go back to the 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 point about two years earlier, we couldn't even get off the fucking launch pad yeah, with we, the same rocket. We died not even launching. All Correct. they were doing was putting oxygen into the tank and pressurizing it, and a spark blew the fucking thing up. So I, I, I agree. Unless, <laughs> it, the only way I can say yes to your question is, unless... The issue was something relatively simple. They said, oh, 
this hose wasn't tightened enough. Right. But how did you how did you not double check that fucker? And it was a spark, so it was a there was there was some electricity thing as well, right? Like cuz it was a spark that ignited the oxygen, the heavy oxygen atmosphere, correct? Yes, correct. Right. So that, yes. So it was really just a loose wire. I mean, it could have been a faulty any I mean, think of all the different parts and screws and how like how it was built back then compared to how it's probably built now? Much differently. Yeah, I just think that... I mean, it's a fucking erector set, in my opinion. But uh, Yeah, but you, you have the smartest people in the world. Other than the Russians, yeah. Okay, you have the smartest people in the fucking Western Hemisphere. So you have... How do you not have a quadruple checklist? Right. And that was just a test. How? Right? But we have had multiple rockets blow up. But then why wouldn't you just do that exact same test unmanned. Well, here, here's a good example of that. Challenger was 86. Yes. So let's go to 67 because that's when that tragedy happened. Yes. Right. So almost 20 years later, 19 years later, right. A fucking O ring that just was too cold. Crack, like cracked. Of, you need Every bit of the billions of things that can go wrong to knock a wrong. Yeah. Right. I mean, it, here's an example. It's like you talk about people who like get away with murder or whatever. The police aren't that fucking smart. They only need to find one thing that you didn't fucking cover your tracks. Right. On. There's a billion things, whether it's a fingerprint or a hair or this or that. Or the other. All you have to do is fuck up one thing and the whole system shuts down. Right. Yeah. So. I can understand that being a tragedy. However, in the light of the Gus Grissom, which I didn't know because I wasn't alive then, I didn't know about how un, how outspoken he was against what he was even doing. Right. Like, and what point his popularity would have been like, this is bullshit and we're not even going. Like, it's tough. It's tough. I, I have a hard time answering your question with the... And nowadays, I'd be like, oh, yeah, they could have fixed that shit in three, four months. No problem. Oh, I think it would have been. Well, look at the Dragon. The Dragon was a brand new tech. This last launch, That's it was SpaceX? people. SpaceX okay. Dragon. The one that was just launched with people for the first time since Columbia, right? The one that crashed coming back to Texas. 12 years. 12 years. <laughs> three years. 12 years. Times four. But, times four. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> that happened, and that was never flown before. Did that launch everything? I don't. I that, I, I saw the. Oh, fucking, I watched, it was like a I big iPad. It, but, I watched it live. I've got a conspiracy about that one. You'll love it. Oh, I can't wait. Can't bro. wait, bro, because it's part. It's on the tail end of this one. It's starting. Or I could do it now, but I'll wait. No. So tease. I. It's my opinion that yes, we can launch an un just a hunk of metal at the at the moon and make it land on the moon. Okay. I think we have the technology in sixty nine to do that. So barring anything blowing up, I think we could do that. Now, let's reel it back. Can we launch something into orbit, connect to something, you know, that orbiter landing thing, right? And then go land the fucking thing with whatever limited fuel. Remember, it was like it costs X amount per every pound that goes up in space. Yeah. Imagine what that was in 69 or how hard it was because we didn't even have the technology we do now. The, it Every ounce a paperclip yeah. would have fucking. Um, there's a really interesting one. Supposedly, some spring in one of the fuses uh, broke to get off to get off the moon allegedly, and they took a spring out of a pen. Wow! To fix a fuse. That's an interesting one, and that's a story. It's like, I'm, but you're like, man, that's a really big hero story, isn't it? But I digress on that. So then the second thing. Okay, is, I'm sorry. I'm go, go no, please finish. Oh, it, please. The second thing. Uh, it's just okay. So. It's my opinion we can get there with a hunk of metal. Now the question is, can we orbit, land, take off again, reconnect, come back? I mean, it's a lot of steps, but you had a point. So I, I guess I'm not familiar enough with, you said, so we launch off the Earth and then we dock with something? Well, I remember watching in First Man, they had to stop the thing from spinning so they could connect with something. Remember that? Before they go to the moon. Right, before they go to the moon. I think they shot up the orbiter for... Look, I'm not 100% versed. Regard, but the thing is, it had to... 
at the moon. It had to detach, correct, land, and then the other part had to come back. I remember all that. Yeah, with okay. two people. Now, right. Look, no atmosphere, one sixth the gravity of Earth. Yeah, I can easily see you could fucking just float you, away. You could fart hard enough to get off. Yeah, <laughs> right. So, like, I get that part probably was less of a challenge. But we've never landed on a foreign surface. We've never none of Did that. Did they put weights in their boots? No. You think so? No. They because if you look the way they supposedly they are, floated, they jumped they're around. And shit. Remember, they did this thing, but they're yeah. But you know, there are people saying that they pulled on cables for that. So basically, with one sixth of the Earth, you just jump six times higher. I got vertical, bro. That's a, and I could play basketball. In the moon. <laughs> that's that's the end of the podcast. I could play basketball. I'm going to be the new the Moon Slayers. Yeah. Oh, okay. 32 foot basketball court. Uh, or I mean, tall net. Yes. Yes. Anyway, you were going to say something else though. I just didn't oh, realize about the connecting thing. Yeah. I knew about the moon lander and then they, there was two parts and then they, and they, at the, at the moon surface, they left the bottom the section bottom there right. and, and then they re and moon's atmosphere or moon's orbit they reattached with John Orbiter Correct. and then they came back to Earth. But I didn't know there was a section in the Earth's orbit that they docked with. Now, hello to the world. <laughs> oh, LJ. I would like to say that this is watching First Man, so I can't say how accurate this is. I don't remember that part. But I remember they took off and they were spinning, spinning, spinning and had to get the thrusters to keep from spinning too much so they could connect to something. I thought that, that was got that, them, was and Earth. that got them to the moon. Right. Because they had the thing on the end of it. Because they needed propellant. I, I, so the, I could be so wrong. The, the rocket itself is not what got them to the moon. That just got them off the planet. Correct. I mean, okay. remember those stages break off, right? right. Those Saturn but V I, stages. Right. So you then need something with fuel to get. More fuel. Okay. Right. I didn't, so okay. It, I don't want to, I'm out of my breath and depth, but it's my understanding that something was shot up first and then we connected to it and then go. Okay. It's kind of like the space station. It makes sense yeah. to fly to the space station, do all the fucking all assembly there, and then shoot it from there. It makes yeah. total fucking yeah, sense. Yeah, of course. So anyway, so there's that. Do we have that fucking technology? Right. And I, I don't know if we have it now. I mean, I, I, I love to think all the composites and everything. I just don't know how we could do it. Like... Do you ever get lost in the fucking woods and like have no, and you're a fucking human and it's the woods. I'm pretty sure I'm a human and it's the woods, bro. And I it's have not, gotten lost in the woods and you're not a vacuum, not wearing a space suit, not whatever. Not wearing a vacuum or how a space often, suit. How, how'd you freak out? I like, don't even like to vacuum. Oh, shit. I have freaked out in the woods. Right. And I have a map too. And I'm like, dude, I don't know where I am. Don't freak out. Right. So, and I understand we're not wired like those people are trained. Yeah. However, if you're in space, two people on a celestial body that's not named Kate Upton. Hey now. Hi, Kate. How you doing? Um, you know, two, Justin Verlander's watching this up there, right? Oh, shit. Hey, Jay. Hey, what hey, up, bro? What's up, JV? You got a mean slider, dude. I like that. Among I other things. You, I bet you slider just fine. Oh, hey, yo. Shit. That's going to hurt later. Are we going to pay for that one? <laughs> is, that, is that defamation of character or just saying she's a good fuck? Uh, I I'm like just his kidding. Pitching. Oh. Pers- Do you like her catching? Hey, oh. All right. <laughs> shake shake it off. Shake, shake it off. off. <sighs> I, mean, I pay for a lot of things. Jesus, dude. I, what I love about our conversational style, though, is we address these issues as we fuck up. We don't edit I'm it sorry, out. As you fuck up. Okay, as I fuck up. Thank you. Um, Jesus, uh, dude. Uh, Mr. Verlander and Mrs. Upton? I don't Mrs. know if Upton they're married. Ver- Verlander? Oh, are they dating? Yes. Are they? At least they're fucking, right? Well, they're living together. Okay, cool. Um, both of you. I, both. I, I think you're both amazing people. I just think, Kate, you're extremely attractive. They're, so. They both work out. <laughs> they're hot. He must work out. That's exactly right. <laughs> oh, shit. I have a feeling the one, that topic I came up with for BG for next yes. time is really a good one. I concur. On. Anyway, so back to the moon. Back to it. Um, two people, like, here, go. Do your shit and come back. <laughs> you have to be pretty fucking self-disciplined to be able to not lose your Not freak mind. mentally, yeah. Yeah. So, you, And you're alone. You're in a little capsule with three dudes. Right. For three days floating. Like. Yeah. That one's a road trip. I can, I, I, not, not a chance to stretch though. You don't get out to stretch. 
So it's, yeah, it's a road trip without, pee. right? It's a road trip without. All you the, got is like two guys in Tang. It's road trip without the loves. The loves yeah. truck stops on the way. There's no subways there's inside no the subways. loves. Yeah, there's no loves. There's no uh, yeah, all that pilot. You know, <laughs> shitty stinky places. And about that, it's yes. funny because it's like there's a picture that. Do you remember the guy that stayed on the capsule? Yeah, John okay. Arbiter. <laughs> oh God. <laughs> <laughs> so Mr. Orbiter yeah. was orbiting and he took a picture of the earth out the portal, out the window <laughs> portal. And they, and they said, this is all of the population of the world minus three people. Yeah. And what's so fu- the first thing I thought, about, I remember that being like this thing, like Whoa. this picture, is that was the first tweet, dude. every human being except for three. And I'm like, if it were today's world, it would be everybody but two because a motherfucker would have taken a selfie <laughs> with the fucking globe in the background. It would have been like, hey, boo, heck, look at me. I'm in the background. The right? Hey, Wouldn't Earth. It have been? Yes. And it would have been everybody minus two. Just just a thought. It's funny how he took a picture. Not him in it. That, that concept still baffles me about where that went. That's a whole other not conscious episode. But now John Orbit is orbiting and Buzzy and Neil are making great man... That's a one giant leap for man, one giant leap for mankind. The eagle has landed. The fat duck flies at midnight. I just like making the sound after. It's so much better. Like, hey, okay, you there? Nope. Nope. I can't do it. Um, over, over. What's your vector, Victor? Roger, Roger. Roger, Roger. I like my eggs over easy, over. Um, so, back to order. Do we need walkie-talkies? Over. So I have a question for you that you might be able or might not be able to understand. Jesus. The part that stayed there. Yeah. Is that the thing that had the mirror on it that you can now like shoot your telescope on and like. I believe so. I wasn't sure. That if they was put a in mirror. foil. Right. I didn't sure if they put it. <laughs> like your head. This would work great, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> um, but. Hello, my bear. Um, so. They have a alleged. Well, there's a mirror you can point at telescope. I watch Big Bang Theory, bro. I watch that show. Okay, and the, Penny. And the the nerds shot, shown like a laser on it, and you could see it in the telescope. There's a mirror on the, on the moon, but that doesn't necessarily neg- that doesn't necessarily mean a man or a uh, an a human or whatever put it there. Could have been there automatically. Could have just been landed there, and we could say that we put it there, right? It could have been an alien, dude. Well, yeah, but we could have just shot it there. But we knew there was a mirror. We we said we put a mirror up here. It's at this these certain coordinates. Have you never heard about this? No. Yeah. So when they landed, when they landed, they put a mirror on the moon. You don't have to look it up. I'll so just you can trust. Geek it out. I'll trust you and Sheldon. Trust trust Sheldon. And Raj. Bazinga. And the, and the other. Guys. That was my joke. I was joking the whole time. Bazinga. <laughs> um, is that a copyright infringement? Bazingar. Be- Bezinger. Probably. Oh fuck. All copyrights to Sheldon. Um, in in case you're not watching this on video, I'm snarling. Doctor Sheldon Cooper. Anyway, so so philosophically, or technologically, we're talking, right? I think we can at least just smack some, throw something at it to get it to crash into the moon. <laughs> but the question is, can we get something to land, come back, attach, and then come back? So what? 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 Makes you think it couldn't happen. What are some of the reasons you think it just couldn't happen? Uh, like I said, I think that that explosion between 67 and 69. Time between those two events. In, unless that explosion was some freak accident. Like, But your point about the Challenger is very good because, you know, we started this, the, the, the space shuttle program started in 81 and we had many successful missions prior to 86. So right. that was the first uh, cha- uh, shuttle craft challenge. Cor- uh, correct. Disaster. Yes. Correct. So never one is blown up on the tarmac no. or anything. Not no. even, not even not launch. We've aborted launches, yeah. but not weather, but weather blah, 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 whatever. Right. Yeah. But never anything happened. Correct. So it just seems like, okay. In that time in the sixties, we didn't have, we didn't, you couldn't react quickly with technology because it wasn't, it, it just wasn't there. To that point though, it was Apollo 1? I think so. I think it was also. We got 11. We had 10 in between. Yeah. Within a two and a half year. So there That's was fast. But there were 10. But remember, 
the time frames fast, but they were launching like something every month or a couple times a month. So I think they were kind of trying to I'm to defend that. If I were to defend yeah, NASA, yeah. I'd say, you know what? When we were doing this, we were all in and we were launching doom, 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 doom to work out the fucking problems. Right. Yeah. And it just, we got it worked out in two and a half years. That would be the argument to your point. Yeah. I, I'm not yeah. saying it's legit. No, I understand. That and argument. that's a very good point. That's absolutely a very good point. Right. And I want to be clear. I'm the more th you start asking me about it and I'll be on like, I've heard it's a fake. It's not okay. We've heard that growing up. We just heard cause conspiracy theories. Hello. People love wearing tinfoil because they love like roasted chicken mm. and turkey burgers. Yes. <laughs> but, um, you hear that, but the more I watch this now, I delved into it really deep cause you brought this topic up to us. I'm more confused today than I was a week ago. Right. I know I'm tell you right now because I'm, I'm more lost. There's no real evidence one way or another. It's just like the God thing. You can't disprove a negative. Prove it didn't happen. Oh, shit. So anyway, um, we're at uh, the point where two and a half years. So that's the first hiccup to you. It's like, shit, we went from killing someone on a platform that wasn't even launching to going all the way to the moon landing, coming back. Uh huh. That's a just on logic sense. That makes sense. That, that never could happen. Right. Now, at today's, even like, let's say in the 90s, like, or in the... I with computers. Right. With simulations. Correct. And the way we're able to do it with those real world equations. Correct. I think, yeah, because you can, they build cars. They don't make clay models anymore. They, yeah. They build the car and get all the drag, like they know the drag coefficient and shit. Right. Of each angle from, I mean, it's pretty amazing. So yes, today. So back then... That was uh, 50 like plus years ago. Only two and a half it was, years. Right? You know, technology in those 50 years. Doubled every two years. Vastly, Hello? vastly different. Bro, Moore's Law. Bro. Doubled every two years. I don't years. even know who that guy is. We talked about him last time. Fuck that guy. Yeah, he's cool though. Okay, sure. James Moore. Jimmy yeah. Moore. Uh, Benjamin Moore paints. Yes, his brother Benjamin is the paint guy. The paint guy. Yeah. Um, Everyone knows him. Everyone knows that guy. He like covers Benny. stuff. Benny he, Moore. He's all over the earth. He covers. Yeah. Covers. Paint the earth. <laughs> So, all right. First one, two and a half years from explosion on the ground to going to the moon, coming back. Yeah. That, that's a good. I have an issue with that. Right. I do too. I can totally, that logic makes sense to me. So what other things did you glean that, that really makes you question or even just makes you think how oh, maybe this didn't happen? Why haven't we gone back since 1972? Yeah. So, good news is we're going to. We are? Yeah, didn't Trump 2020, 2024? I thought that we were doing... We're doing it to get to Mars, but we're going... Oh, the, we are? You never heard of 20? Oh, I thought Mars? we were doing Space Force. Oh, <laughs> I have not watched all of Corell's. That looks hilarious. The beginning of that looked really funny. I have not watched it either. I'm waiting, but watch it. It's funny. Okay. I watched, like, the first part of it, but I'm waiting for someone else to... Because like, of FOMO? No. What's it called again? FOMO. FOMO's fear of missing out, yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah don't get on FOMO. It's actually hilarious. No, I'm waiting for someone else yeah. to say, I'm ready to watch this. You're gonna and be waiting a long like time, gonna, bro. I know. I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna push. Is that kinda like week. that other show we were gonna watch together that That we never did? Yeah. What do we watch? What Deadwood or I don't know what I was wasn't Deadwood. Was. Oh, Westworld probably. Yeah, probably. That's what it's Westworld. Shit. I yes, I'm watching I already it. ruined Fuck. That's it. I'm fucking going. Yeah. It's only three seasons, Another dude. Another scene. I love it. I know. I love it. Um, so, we're there. Two and a half years from this tragedy to going there and coming back, I can totally see, but once again, it could have been an act. It could have been an accident. So, I'll, from NASA's side, I'm like, we work really hard to fucking get all the bugs out. Trust me. We we worked our ass off. The That incident gave us an insight to all the possible things that can make a spark happen. So we fixed it as soon as that tragedy happened because we didn't know that would happen till it happened. I absolutely see. I absolutely think that's a very valid point. Cool. Tin Steven check mark. Tin brigade. So, okay. So <laughs> outside of that, <laughs> Uh, I look like a fucking ridiculous moron. With yeah, this it's on. fucking weird. Not it's you got like bulbuses and yeah, nodules. I know. It's, you know, it's I'm gonna got, get a new hat. It's got I'm so just, much character, dude. 
Character. Ooh. Yeah, it's got character. Yeah. Maybe. All right. So besides the two and a half years between super tragedy on the ground to like all of it working seamlessly without a problem, without, well, not without a problem, but getting there. Since back. 72, why haven't we been back? Like the recession, like monetarily money, the recession didn't really start until like, uh, uh, Carter took office in right. 76 and then the eighties happened and it was the big one of, it was up. That was the biggest boom decade ever up until, you know, the nineties, the internet. Yeah, I mean, up until revolution, right? The same you know, thing. But, yeah. but it was like Boots. the Reagan era. It was like yeah. it was, credit was getting. Uh, yeah, you know, America like, was strong. Yeah, it was like the women's shoulder pads were as big as the <laughs> fucking stock market. I love that when you bring the fucking it's, shoulder pads. But it's true. Up. It is true. It's they like, like they played linebackers. linebacker for the Bears. <laughs> like what the shit? <laughs> you know, it's true. So why? What you know? We, well, we you know we ship NASA shifted. All right. From the deep, moon right. to the space shuttle program. I'm going to rebunk your debunk. Sure. Real simple. Why didn't we go back? Yeah. The goal was the moon. Okay. Once you cross a finish line, do you rerun the fucking marathon? A lot of fucking idiots do. The same one over. Do you? When you win Boston, do you say, I'd like to start over and go again right now? Nah, no. Nah, the next fucking day, these idiots do it. Right. <laughs> but I you get understand it. what I'm I saying, see your right? point. Okay. So that's one. The money. Once again, we go to money. What's where's the reward in going to the moon more than those times? If we went, where's the reward in going more? We're not getting. We weren't getting anything. From well, it. That's maybe the, we stopped because we didn't get anything. We landed. Twelve people said, "There's nothing the fuck up here." Went back. Or oh, there's aliens up here. We need to get the fuck away. But that's yeah. Other and I I I would thing. really think that there's gonna be things that we could learn. There's a million things we could probably learn from the moon that we don't that we didn't get the first time. I think we can learn a million things of about by getting the moon. We learn a million things in between like the moon what? is a fucking rock that has zero atmosphere. It's not, it's just an orbiting bot. It's nothing. It really isn't special, right? Like it's literally another, it's a rock that's just out of our reach. Yeah. So what can we learn? L getting there, we did. We learned about propulsion and weight and distribution and uh, all everything. The other. Right? How to how to yeah, like Apollo thirteen. Right? How do we get back with the power of a fucking percolator or whatever? That was me riding. I know. Horse. I saw you bouncing up and down in your chair. I'm like, Monty Python. I know. I get it. That's one of the scenes, dude. I keep coming up with great scenes. I know. Anyway, so um, to to bunk, I'd be like, well, the the stuff we learned was really to get there. And the goal was to get there. So once we got there and we saw 12 people said there's nothing really, it's unremarkable. We're probably like, yeah, this isn't fucking worth it anymore. Okay, so we got to go. What other things stuck out for you? Like, why haven't we gone back? That's why I would say we haven't gone back because we okay. there there isn't anyone we need to beat. We already beat them. We won the race. I know it's these are not good reasons, but bro, <laughs> give me something that I, we give me something we do at superpower to superpower level. Come here, sharpie on you. That has any logic? Okay, they just want to win, bro. Bro, look, we started a world war over one dude getting shot. I know like, how so stupid not, is that. Like people oh, do fucking Franz Ferdinand. People do some crazy shit. But but the hypotenuse of the spherical vows as well as worst episode ever. It's my Simpsons. Through okay. Me. All right. So what's that your sounded next? Like, that never bunk. mind what I thought that was. Wait, say it. Say it. Uh, that sounded like um, <laughs> Cosby. <laughs> I was like, and the pudding, the and the pudding, pudding pop, and the coke. The pudding pop used to be the big thing to NASA wanted to do, but they went with Tang instead. <laughs> and then I went on a fucking raping rampage. <laughs> Fuck, what if that was it? What if, like, powdered jello was, like, competitor to the Tang, and they chose Tang, and Bill Cosby said, I'm just going to fucking drug and rape women. Like, right there. Is that kind of like how oh E.T. picked, God. um... 
He phoned over. Or what was it? Uh, Reese's Pieces. They, yeah, Reese's Pieces won because M&M's didn't want to be in the movie. Yeah. And Idiots. fucking Reese's Pieces are fucking delicious. I know. Better than peanut M&M's. So it, it, took, it took M&M how many years to get peanut butter inside technology? Well, apparently they didn't make it to the fucking moon. Mars, they made it to Mars because they're Mars company, aren't they? Yeah, the Mars bars, bitches. Shit. All right, so. Shit, bro. Hold on. Darn. That was our tangent, my friend. All right, back, back. So, um. Next point. Let's just say, for sake of argument. Okay. The moon landing was fake. Well, we're not. I'm trying to get you to do it first. Oh. I have a hypothetical question that you and or checkmark may answer. I'll try to answer it. Check, Whatever. Check marks. In so the, in the if back. it was fake, why was it fake? To win. To pull the wool over the eyes of the Russians? It's not to pull. It wasn't to pull the wool over anyone's eyes. It was just to, to, to fake winning. To fake winning. To cheat. Okay. I mean, it was cheating to win, to win the goal. The goal was the moon. We went there. We said we'd do it in 10 years. We did it in nine and a half so we win like just so they don't fucking so they say face that would that would be my guess what are your thoughts is it possible that the entire space race was just a distraction it always is it was not yeah it's it was a way to not shoot boys and boys in the boys and i'm going to say girls too because i'm assuming there was a woman fighting at some point it's to avoid bullets killing other people it's a way to win without actually putting boots on the ground for land oh. that you don't care about okay Right? I mean, the whole point of the Cold War was we were doing everything to shit on them without pulling the trigger. Well, right? Well, or the, pushing the button. Yeah, I was going to say it was nuclear. Right. Yeah. It was, yeah, it was yeah, yeah. how can we win without eradicating, er, eradicating, ratatouille. A ratatouille. Ratatouille. Uh, without eradicating ourselves. Yeah. Right? I mean, yeah, that's really yeah. what it comes down yeah. to. Because let's be honest, we push the button, they push the button, we're all dead. We know that we knew that fucking day one. Yeah. So, no. Other than a megalomaniac who does not care about their life, that shit's not gonna. Ha that shit wasn't gonna happen. There's a, there were enough safeguards in place. I mean, we've had scares went up. Come on, the, I don't know how bad the Cuban Missile Crisis. Was. I, we should probably delve into that one time. I'm curious how like, because I it seemed like for us right the way they made it sound was like we were on the brink. Right. It does. It did. The way it was painted through history, it sounded like it was we were. One minute away from destruction. Right. And I heard that. I heard Castro was actually more into doing it than the Russian leader at the time, which was Stalin, Lenin, not Lenin. Stalin. Beef stroganoff. Um, Khrushchev, probably. Yes, Khrushchev. correct. Correct. So Khrushchev come in. So my, I've heard this story and I'll look it up and I'll see if I can find it. But my understanding was Castro was like, let's fucking do it. Let's bomb fuck. I because he was an idealist. Uh, allegedly, Castro was a very much idealist about the kind. He was all in. He was like, Bruh. and the Russian and Khrushchev was like, bro, pump the brake, pump the brakes a little bit. We're all gonna die if you do that. Like he was all into like, go ahead, push the button. He, he didn't have. He was okay dying. Right, but he didn't have right because he believed in a philosophy. It's like Che Guevara, right? It's like that idealism that seems attractive, but it's really just megalomaniac, mean maniacal. Yeah. Megalomaniacism, megalomaniacal. Let's go with that. Sure. Um, so it, that's what that seemed like to me. So yeah, is it just look at my right hand? What's my left hand doing while I'm picking pocket? Right or whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But to that end, it's true. The United States with television started getting the government started getting exposed more and more for things they did, or at least being held accountable. Right, a little more. Because they had video of it or they had evidence, right? It's different. Like right now, you can all, how much shit can you really get away with without somebody going, oh, nothing. Right. That's what makes it weird is like some of the current conspiracy theories. But back then, I would think, be like, yeah, this stuff's getting out of hand with Vietnam, for example. We, but we didn't get into Vietnam. We started the space race. So 
get the space race was first. So it makes but sense that it, Kennedy said, Kennedy was tiptoeing around Vietnam at the same time. Correct. 62? 63 was the first 63. advisors. Okay, so 63 was the the berets, <laughs> pretty much. Yeah, yeah. Or the, you know, the SEAL Team 6. Um, but that was 63 or 60? Okay, so two uh, years prior to that. Now, the American philosophy, in my, in my estimation, is stop communism, the spread of communism at all costs on every front. Yeah. So we did it militarily, and we did it with the space race. We tried to do it economically. I mean, we did do it economically, really, because we prospered out coming out of World War II. America just yeah. like prospered like nobody's business. A lot of other countries did too, but you know, it was a good time, right? Right. So he says, sixty-one era, era, not because it is easy, but because it is hard. So then he then he drops people off in Vietnam two years later. They were losing for eight, years, six years, seven years. Now Kennedy's dead at sixty-three, but America, who Kennedy. Kennedy held us to the wall. Kennedy pinned us on the wall to fucking hit these goals. Yes. And then he fucking left us, that asshole. It's totally his what fault. What a dickhead. For, for getting shot like that? God damn, what what an asshole for right. letting himself get shot in the fucking head like eight totally. times. Totally. At least twice. That, that's the moral of this story, man. Don't get shot in the head? No, don't promise something and then let yourself get shot in the don't head. Don't go to Dallas? <laughs> Fuck. Um, well, that's just a general rule of thumb. Okay. Because <laughs> the cowboys are there. Tell you what, cowboys. So he says it, brings it. He uh, he says, "Man on the moon," or he says, "Get to the moon in ten years." Let's go enter Vietnam, and right before he's killed, the first year, I bet the first year we probably did okay in Vietnam. I don't know. I don't. Is I don't there, know. Is there a chart? Well, he goes, okay. I the would first think, year we did okay. Then the second. Well, year, I would think after morale got shittier and shittier that you just performed shittier and shittier. I would think that it was a slow like. You think of a spiring plane like out of control. It's slow, like just fa- went faster and faster as it. Well, their the answer train. was more bombing and more men. Right, but it also killed more men. Well, yeah, right, because we didn't know what the fuck we were doing. But in the beginning, yeah. we were all like, "Woohoo!" Like, "Hey, let's stop communism." Now we're like, "Dude, we're all getting guilty here. This is not fun." In so, a war, we had no yeah. idea how, how could to, you right. how to win in a jungle, right. right? In a country that didn't want us, but but neither, all that, right. north nor the south, but all of that. Regardless of all of that, we were there. We had to. Fu- it was nothing to no, do with the moon. No. Well, but the moon <laughs> winning the race in the moon was I another get it, shit dude. on the on on Khrushchev, right? So, what other technical thoughts do you do you have about? I have uh, none. Like, well, you said like, can we get there, right? Yeah. Do we have this? Do we have that? Now, one of the things that uh, are those all of your points about how not or. You know, I have one final point about okay. uh, the movie that we talked about earlier today. Okay, that is all. That's all I got. Which, which, what's that? But that you want to say that for the end? Oh yeah, we'll t- we'll talk about that because now I'd like to. You, I want you to debunk my shit. Oh fuck! Good fucking luck, bro. I, I got nothing on this shit, bro. All right, go. So there's a rock in a picture with the number with the letter C on it, or at least looks like a C. What? Remember the prop rock? No. Okay, so. That might not have been in there. It was in that, that other sounds one. sounds like something on Say by the Bell. There, Screech, get the prop rock. There's a picture of of a rock, and it clearly has a C on it. And it looks like a prop. Like, you'd label it, that's where C goes. That's where D would go. Shut the and fuck they didn't up. flip it over. Shut the fuck I'll up. show you those after. It's in the same thing as the other thing with the other movie we were talking about. It's, it's one of those guys put that together. So I take it with a grain of salt. So it could have been just a blemish that looks, you know, like a crack could have looked like a C and then it, you know, so the shadow does on the it light. it look human made? It looks like an, a perfect C. It looks like that. It's like a perfect C. Think about like a chain on a chain link that this part and that part's cut out. Like it's like a, one of those, like a really elongated C's. And it looks like a pro, like that's where, okay, C goes here, D goes yeah, there. I understand. You know, so that was one. So debunk that. <laughs> and Go. I'm going to say, sh- look, shadow and crack. It was a crack on the rock that the shadow picked up weird. It's just a weird angle. You know, you get the weird thing, like you get the sun. It looks like it's doing this through the lens of a of a film thing. Right? Yeah, 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 right. yeah. That's the first I mean, one. I would want to see it. Yeah. And I'll, I'll show I it to you. I want to see it. Sorry. We'll talk about it. <laughs> you want to see, you wanna see it? <laughs> oh, which one? No, is that the right way? Who cares? I, I don't know. Um, so that's the first one. I'll. 
I'll debunk it. I'll just say, oh, it's a crack that just picked up the lighting weird. And it was just a weird picture. Okay. So it does. It doesn't look human. No, it looks human written. But how many man-made things or how many natural things we say, oh, like humans did that and it never did it, right? It's like a stalactite formation looks like Jesus or the Mother Mary or some or shit. Or is that like when you see Mary on a piece of toast? Yeah, exactly. When you see Jesus on a piece of toast, he's just hungry, trying to get to his next job. I'm going to pay for that one. No, you're not. That was a joke, guys. Well, do I have do I have half a card because of you? Do I have half of a get-out-of-jail-free card for... For that specific group you of people. You mean my Catholicism? <laughs> no. What are we talking about? Oh, you're brown. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not brown, bro. Oh, yeah, because I'm, I'm half brown. Because you're half brown. I'm just You're like one sixteenth. I'm brown by association. I'm half brown by association. Quarter brown by association. Sure. Approved. <laughs> anyway, we're just fucking around, people. I, I did put that in there. Our intent is humor always. I read that. I liked it. Our intent is humor always. Please Except understand. Except for that one time when I was really pissed. <laughs> when we get drunk and we don't record it, that's the shit you don't want to hear. No, but the shit that we do one record time we, with the church. Oh yeah. Well, that's. But that was real. I that, was pissed. Yeah, but that was a real thing. Those fuckers can go to fucking hell. There's no such thing as hell. Okay. Uh they can burn in the streets. Valhalla. Well, they they if they're in Phoenix, they're already in hell. Well, so it's fine. If they go to Valhalla and they meet a Jew, can he bring Hala to Valhalla? <laughs> or is it pronounced Valhalla? Like the, like the well, bread. is there such thing as a Jewish <laughs> Viking? <laughs> Sorry. We, we just fucking, I, we need to. Yeah, all right. <laughs> so I'm going to debunk the one because you didn't know. I thought that was in I the conspiracy. See the scene. I conflated everything because I watched 800 fucking things this week. And I watched I'm like so three. Okay. So that's. The one that gets me is this. It's one of three things that happened. One, we never went on the moon. Everything's faked. We did the whole thing. We recorded it and did it here. Why? I'm just, I'm seeing, giving you three of the things that happened. It's one of three answers. No shit. Number two, we went to the moon. It's real. We took all the footage. We took all this stuff and did it and came back and boom. Yep. The third is the one that I'm going to ask about now. Did they, they talked about the Van Allen belt, right? The Van Allen belt is a magnetic force that hold. Do we not talk about that in conspiracy? No. Okay. The Van Allen belt is this, it, it's magnetic force that holds radiation. It keeps ionized things in the atmosphere. Okay. Oh, so it's around the earth. Correct. It is, it is due to the magnetic fields of the earth generates the Van Allen belt through which you need to fly to get to the moon. So, Okay. I, I, I'm sorry, I finished. Please. No, that's it. through which to fly. So you have to get to the moon. You have to fly through this Van Allen belt that is riddled with radiation. So is it like, like in the stratosphere, the ionosphere it's outside of that? So it's the last. So it's not, it's not even on earth. Right. Okay. So you've got your atmosphere, but then you've got magnetic fields so that the, the earth okay. generates, right? With it spinning iron core and all the other shit it's spinning and doing that. So it has it's a radiated, field. it's a radiation field. Correct. So to simplify the definition. Right. It's a magnetic field that holds radiated radiation particles in place. Like as like almost like something you have to go through to get to the other side. And, and is that part of like the, the thing that blocks the sun rays? No, that's the atmosphere. Totally different. Okay, so it's this outside, outside the atmosphere. Of, correct. Okay. It is between, it is, it is whatever the magnetic fields that the earth generates creates or um, causes radiation to get stuck kind of there. Like it's like in a holding pattern. Think of like a current thing. It's always, water's always traveling on that current. These radiation belts always travel along the magnetic fields of the uh, earth. Okay. Okay. So I've a seen a stuff. discovery channel thing on it. Yeah. Okay. You'll, you, You'll see it out, okay. obviously. All right. But now I know. I just didn't know it was called that. Yeah, it's called okay. the Van Allen Belt. Okay. They flew through that to get there. So yes. the third option and is this. back. Right. And back. But every astronaut ever has to go through that. No. Oh. No, because remember, in low orbit, we're not in the Van Allen. It's out. It's You have to fly through. So oh. we could stay in low orbit. Oh. And not actually have this. We have radiation from the sun and radiation from solar winds and stuff, but nothing to this alleged, the alleged radiation that's that the Van Allen belt. Contains. So the International Space Station is below it. I'm going to I'm going to guess. Yes, it has to be because there's no one. No one would live there unless it was shielded good enough. So it's it's a multiple multiple question, right? 
Here, the other thing could have been radiation destroys film. Okay. So they could have physically gone to the moon, filmed everything, came back, all the film didn't work, and then recreated it. That could, that could be a lot of the footage and the, the, the still pictures, for example, the footage, maybe not the video of them live, right? Live. See, that's my, that was my question. But we don't know the time. We're, we're only told when it was launched and when it was. How many people were on Twitter fucking sharing that shit live? None. So I just you and I right so it's one of three things we got there and came back had film it's real it's all legit we never did and we faked it completely or we went there took film the film didn't turn out we still had to prove that we were there so we made it up then 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 we did because there's stock footage things of like people like astronauts with different backgrounds that are the exact same image you know what I mean like a promo footage yeah the background right so you could it could have easily been that oh shit none of this film came out well, we need to show that we did this, so now let's fucking do it. The st- I'm talking about like the still pictures. Yeah, and all so the you're saying, stuff. but the, so the live broadcast from the moon may have been real or not. Not sure because they said it was a four second delay. Right? Is that really can 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 video and audio really travel two hundred thirty eight thousand yeah. miles? It, it only takes four seconds. Well, it goes the speed of light. So 186,000 miles per second squared. Oh, it is only okay. By the 238 average thousand miles that the that the moon is from the sun uh, from the Earth, four seconds, right? Eight and a half minutes from the sun. Remember, yeah. we're so close to the moon. Like we yeah. think, you don't even think about how far the sun million. is, right? It's yeah. eight and a half minutes away. Yeah, it's eight and a half light minutes. Yes, I understand. So that distance, right? So that's why it's that quick. It's pretty quick. Plus, remember, there's no atmosphere on the moon. To do blocking, anything. Yeah. but you still have to get through this other Van Allen. But I don't know if that affects radio signals. I don't know. But the second part of the Van Allen Bell question: If it ruined the film, block, that's fine. Three people. That was yes. Twelve people threw fluid through th- flew <gasps> flew through it twice. <laughs> Twelve people flew through that thing twice. Got dosed with shit tons of radiation that was not shield because they didn't have the the they couldn't handle the weight that shielding needed. You know what Did I mean? Like, even it wasn't know? gonna be a lead. They weren't gonna put lead because it's so fucking heavy. They couldn't get it off the. Did they know there was a? Did NASA yes. know there was a Van Allen belt? Yes, they knew this all. This all was. How did they know that? Well, you can get radiation pickups from whatever. So they could tell from but Earth. I, you by know what? Looking. You know I'm 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 out. I don't know if they knew. I know we know now. Right. I don't know if they knew then, but regardless of that, it was there whether we knew about it or not, right? So 12 people flew to the moon and back were basically eradicated. How late did these people live? They lived the in their 70s and 80s. There is no fucking way that if you were exposed to that kind of radiation that you would not have had cancer or died early. You could have gotten fried, right? I'm just saying. So that's one that, that I that I have a question about. You know? As you're looking something up. Yeah, the Van Allen Belt radiation. It's actually solar wind. Yeah. I thought and it's, it's not caught, generated by the Earth. It's not generated. It's caught in oh, the magnetic okay. field. That's why I said the ions are caught in the magnetic field like a... It's like a almost like a current, like I'm saying, like it's traveling around the magnetic field generated by the Earth. The magnetic field doesn't generate the radiation. It's in the magnetic sphere. Yes, there. Magnetic magnetosphere? Magnetic sure. sphere? Sure. Yeah, sure. So the belts and danger satellites. Ah. Which must have their sensitive components protected with adequate shielding. Yep. And if they didn't have that. How did the fuck 12 people get there and back and not get nuclear? Holy nuclear shit, radiated? dude. That's the one that's most compelling for me. It was discovered in 1958. Okay. Right, right before they started the fucking thing. Oh, shit. And then 11 years later, we flew through it. There's two belts, inner and outer. Antimatter confinement. Pretty oh interesting. Oh, my God. Yeah. All right, everybody. Hello, Twitter world. Listen, look up the Van Allen belt. But. That's my biggest debunk, or that's my biggest thing to say. I don't know how that could have happened. Space tr- spacecraft traveling beyond 
low Earth orbit and are a zone of radiation of the Van Allen belts. Beyond the belts, they face additional hazards from cosmic rays and solar particle events. A region between the inner and outer Van Allen belts lies at two to four Earth radii and sometimes referred to as a safe zone. Blah, blah, blah. Boobs. I just want to get everybody to keep paying Boobies. attention before we get too boring. Shit, I'm trying to figure out the human... The hu- Apollo missions marked the first event where humans traveled through the Van Allen belts. The astronauts had low exposure in the Van Allen belts due to the short period of time spent flying through them. Okay. The Apollo flight trajectories bypass the inner belts completely, passing through the thinner areas of the outer belts. Astronauts' overall exposure was actually dominated by solar particles once outside the Earth's magnetic field. Total variation, total radiation received by the astronauts varied from mission to mission, but was measured to be between this many this and this many yeah, that. Rads? Is yes. It rads? Okay. Regardless. Much less than the standard of per year set by the da 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 What about, oh, so it's, so they're saying the Van Allen belt was not an issue. Correct. What about all the cosmic rays and the shit outside, though, that we didn't have shielding from? That's that's my Cosmos. biggest argument, is we didn't have, I don't feel like we were protected enough. That would be my personal opinion. Not one of the 12, like, got. Yeah, you know, I, I find it shocking that not. One guy had long-term effects from yeah. anything. Yeah. I mean, these guys lived... I know they're, they're in great shape. Don't get me wrong. But all, they lived till 70, 80. Yeah. They're, uh, and they... Well, they're all, like, genetic specimens of... That's true. Like, Athena and shit. You know? So... They were... But they didn't have genetics yet. They didn't know what genetics right, were. Right, but yet. if you but look at them... But they knew they were in good shape. Right, but if but, you look at them, they're all pilots, Navy, Air Force, yeah, Marine Corps... How many guys have you seen that get cancer that are like super healthy? Like Tyson was a healthy guy, right? But well, yeah, he, but he had military things. But these guys were all time. Mil- None of these yeah. guys ate processed food. Correct. None of these guys. But they also didn't understand the levels of radiation they were getting on air bases from microwaves and all this other. You know what I'm saying? Like all the yeah. other shit that we didn't really think about until we started getting side effects. But if you think about the in 19, so these guys were probably born during World War. Two, they're you know, 40, yeah, 20. so they were born. They're probably was he 25? I he don't was know. 30, he was probably 35. 40. So yeah. he was born at say 1940 to 1945, and you know, so it, give or take, whatever. Yeah, I'm just gonna look up when all, whatever. all Armstrong was born, but it doesn't sure, matter. Yeah, and Except then for curiosity, so the, the, the amount of the amount of cancer cases to people, you know, because th- they ate, they ate, they didn't eat triscuits. Do you know what I mean? They, they, well, they didn't eat GMO triscuits. I'll right. tell you that much. They, they ate butter and f- fucking steaks and potatoes and whatever the fuck they wanted. It yeah. wasn't processed shit. They died of heart attacks, not cancer. Well, yeah. Because <laughs> well, they did because they clogged their fucking well, arteries with like naturally clogging things. Well, not, their biggest downfall was cigarettes and fucking yeah, cigarettes and alcohol. Yeah, cigarettes. And, you know, they drank Sanka too. for Christ's sake. <laughs> they did. And, and Tang, bro. Fuck yeah, dude. I don't know if you knew about Tang, just saying. I've been I've been near Taint before. Oh dear Jesus! Tank. Okay, so Armstrong was born in thirty. I was way off. Well, oh, he shit. was he was he was fifteen at the end of the war, so it's not like he was oh, old. Yeah, I mean he's a fucking teenager at the end of the war. So was, and then it was another twenty five years, right? So he's forty. But that's like that's the peak. You know, thirty to forty was like peak people because he went downhill after forty. Yeah, pretty much. Like now it's different. Now yeah, with nutrition the way it is or if you focus on it you can definitely oh, extend yeah, yeah, your yeah. life take care of yourself right. etc so the Van Allen belt's the one that gets me it it makes me think that it makes my opinion now that we did go there and that radiation destroyed all the film and then we copied it here but it doesn't explain the live the live feed I just don't know how much information we really knew about it being live unless they went two weeks earlier right and didn't tell anybody Right. Which I guess that's possible, but okay, if you're in Florida, I mean, they launched from Flo- Cape Canaveral, probably? Florida? Yes, and I then think so. Did, if you saw, if you saw a rocket, let's say you lived in 30 miles around there, you're going to see a rocket. And then you see one a week later and a week after that. And a week yeah, after, you're like, oh, it's just another that? test. Right. You don't know it's the one that's going to the moon. Ta-da. That's part of so it. So then they, 
you're then I then you see the logic behind what you're saying. Right. And then there there are claims that they launched and came back down right away. Yes. But what if it was just an unmanned rocket that they threw up there anyway and they were down here the whole time? What's yeah. Mad? Like, yeah, there's no there's it's easy to say that if you're going to go this way with this argument, you can go all that way. Right. Like, yeah, they never they didn't even get in the fucking or they got in. Everything showed and then they launched. But the, it was already being done or already done. It was already recorded. And yeah. they said it was live and they made it more grainy. And I'm just saying that could happen. Right. That's a possibility. So those are the three, though. It had to either that it all happened. It all didn't happen. Or it did happen, and we didn't have enough evidence, so we made fucking shit up on the way back. But we still did it. Uh, think of it like, oh shit, I went to I went to Disney, I went to Disney last week. Oh, well, how show? What'd you get to see there? Oh shit, I don't have proof. I didn't take a picture. So then you go back to Disney, take the picture of you at Disney, and be like, see, I was at Disney. I I know it sounds weird, but you know, it's kind of like we had to have proof of some sort. So that's just a thought. I'm like, hold on, hold on. <laughs> yeah, I, I I wouldn't go back to Disneyland <laughs> to take a picture on Pirates of the Caribbean or Caribbean. I just go back to Disneyland. Ooh. It's closed, bro. Oh, bro. It's all COVID-ified. <laughs> covid don't cry for me, COVID-19. The <laughs> truth is I never kill you. Sorry. You're so sweet. I know. I I'm... still want to go back to my Tom Hanks impression. Let's hear it. <coughs> <coughs> <laughs> Sorry. Can I tell you, uh, I saw Instagram. I don't think you can tell me, apparently. <laughs> can I tell you? I saw Instagram post yesterday. It said, happy 4th of July. La, la. Mask it or ta- uh Shit, I fucked it up. Mask it or casket. <laughs> well, I heard that Khalid, the singer that did, uh, I'll, I'll share in a second, but allegedly Khalid got COVID-19, but there's a lot of these spoofs like who's, Chuck. Who's that? He does a song called Young, Dumb and Broke, to which I wrote, oh, so I guess he's Young, Dumb and Croak. Oh, that's fucking awesome. I know. Or choke. That's what it was. It was really good. And then I beer Googled it. And I don't know if he. Go ahead. No, please. I Go ahead. I don't know if. Finish. So Finish. Young, dumb, young, dumb, and croak, young, dumb. That's how the song would go if he were going to die. I know you're going to photobomb me or something. I'm Dude, my fourth chin just shook on your neck. <laughs> David Dune. <laughs> All right. So. <laughs> so. So then the other, oh, the shit. only other thing, the, well, I mean, there's a billion things we go in because we're, we're going to have to put a pin in this bad boy. But the other one we was got 23 minutes, bro. There's a picture of a guy of the space guy with his mask and there's someone took a picture of him. The reflection in the mask, there's a thing that looks like one of those floodlights with the fins on them reflecting in his oh mask. And they're like, well, it could have been the lander. Well, the lander's in the background of the fucking picture. So it definitely wasn't the lander. So like those kinds of things. And I'll share some of those, but ladies and gentlemen, in case you haven't been paying attention because of our tangents, uh, we're talking about whether the moon landing happened or not and why they would do it, why they wouldn't. So may I share before we get into that? Actually, yeah, let's do the movie that okay. referenced it. Okay. So we just watched something recently today. I showed it to you recently of, today. If they did fake it, yes, someone had to produce it. They had to have a director and a producer and film people and key grips. Apparently, a key grips a big thing. And boom, the boom guy, the guy yeah. holding the boom. Um, so, <laughs> Um, so this is a question. If, who would you ask to direct it? If you were going to do a space based moony outer space, really intricate special effects thing in 1969, you know, the answer, bro. Come on. Yeah, you do. We, we talked about him earlier today. They, they talk about I know, I'm trying to think of something funny, but I got nothing. Shakespeare? 
Yes, Willie. Yeah. Willie Shakespeare. <laughs> the game is afoot. Oh, we need to do that one. That's a fun Strange one. Strange things are afoot at the Circle mm. K. The Circle K is not as good as the QT. Well, duh. Letters, letters and anything on their own that don't spell something scare me. What does QT spell? K- K- spells cutie. Ooh. Oh, like that's, you. That's you. Oh, man. Oh, Mira. Oh, Mira. I was just going to say you're cutie. So, okay. So, with to avoid I the I would funny pick part, Kevin Costner. I think he's I, a good director. Yeah, because he does such good accents. We were walking. I was hunting antelope. I s- oh, back and through the front. Water World. Water oh, World. one of my favorite movies. Water World. By that's the way. Fucking terrible. Underrated by a long oh, shot. Best, one of the best movies in the history of movies. No I joke. like Postman better than that. Shit. I like Postman too because the bad the bad guy makes it. Hopper and the guy who is the bad guy in the other Hopper. No, the guy who's bad guy in which? Yeah, movie? the other. The hopper. guy who was in the uh, yeah, but he was the other Hopper. But he was in that uh, Alien movie, not Alien movie. It was a TNT show, Landing Things. Whew, were they a couple years ago? I forget that. Blue the sky, colony? falling skies, falling skies, falling colony skies. The main bad guy in falling skies, or yeah, no, the that. main good guy. Oh my fucking the main god! Bad guy. Let's move it along, Kevin oh, Costner. God. Damn, I'm not hit it. Do. I'm not going to hit it. Do it's it. Not worth it. Okay, so who are we going to? Who like it makes logical sense when you when they bring us the name? Because let's be honest, you and I wouldn't have thought about this guy until they said it, and then like, oh, Stanley Kubrick. Thank you. Why? He directed. 2001 a space when? odyssey <laughs> one year before one year and the when moon you, landing and when you compare the video of some parts of 2001 they look better than the real stuff they don't look better the video they look fucking amazing yeah they look i mean they hold up today i mean it really does i have to watch that again because i don't it's really, fucking horrible it is slow, but it's the first 30 minutes with the it monkeys is beautiful it's so dumb it's so it's you know beautiful. the best part about that they didn't throw any. <laughs> they didn't throw any bodily fluids at all. I didn't either. Thank God. Oh yeah, they. You're right. Like, not at the monolith. Didn't they? <laughs> your monkey is oh. as bad as your Richard Dreyfus. How about the? Here's my monkey. Ooh, ooh, That's ha, fantastic. Hoo hoo ha ha. Hoo hoo ha. That's very good. Good job, monkey. You get <laughs> Thanks, a treat. Bro. So Stanley Kubrick, my friend. Yes. So I showed this to you today. Yeah. So 2001 comes out and looks beautiful. Groundbreaking, right? Right. And then they show like what Stanley Kubrick did in Zero G. Like it's still today. It looks. And then they show an astronaut picking up a pen in space. And it's like, holy crap. So like it may have been able to do it. They may have been able. It looks like he did it. (laughs) It's true. Because even they have a little lander. I mean, come on, dude. God damn. That's such a good point. It looks like he did it. You're right. I mean, it does. So it's 1968. You just released 2001. It's the most visually stunning of any up until until that movie, point. But up until that point, special effects wise, probably the most yeah. amazing special effects ever. And you're NASA. Who are you? Gonna, who are you going to call? Well, and they said that he <laughs> worked with NASA and other to get the data like so he could make his movie yeah they, well, yeah they yeah because they had like the moon like the the, the base like, and all that stuff yeah and, so that yeah. he could like so that he could get the topographical maps of the moon right so that correct. he could make the movie so to make it look realistic right so he and, and, and the um astronaut outfits yes. were based upon real drawings from fucking nasa yes so he did he got a lot of data from that he worked he collaborated with them and data. to get the money or the information the wherewithal, the the inspiration, real world shit. Yeah, the inspiration to make his stuff as grounded in reality as possible. Yes. So then they're like, "Hey, Stan, Lee. Hey, Stan, yeah, I'm cutting you faster." He's like, "Hey, Stan, yeah. why don't you, Miss Garrison? Hey, Stan, why don't you go recreate the moon landing?" Okay, Miss Garrison, let's go, guys. Hey, Kyle. Hey Eric, Kyle, let's uh, um, Kenny, let, let's go, let's go to my house. We, we can make uh, we can make little cardboard little cutouts and make the moon. And then he did it. This is the best South Park episode I've ever seen. Thank God you don't see it, bro. <laughs> or goodness, or whatever the hell. All that shit. Hazy. So Kubrick. Yeah. So then we watch this thing about okay, Kub- that makes sense. Like if looking back and go, 
we decided, yeah, the whole thing's fake, right? Tomorrow, a press conference comes out and goes, yeah, we really landed on the moon now. <laughs> but back then... We're sorry. We lied a, to you for all these years. Do you think, if and when we do land this time, that we'll... That if it's successful... Because remember, now it's water under the bridge, bro. You can't... It, it's so many years removed. It's like, well, we did it now, but we didn't do it then. Declassified. Do you actually think any government organization ever at any level will ever apologize for anything? Didn't say they apologize. I just said, we faked it. This is real. We faked that one. Not apologize. No, I never. We've talked to Democrat Lindsey Robinson before. There are no apologies by politicians, my friend. They don't apologize for shit. They can clearly state and pass the buck, right? You're good you at that shit. Right. You don't need to tell me that you faked the landing to apologize. You don't have to apologize to tell me that. You could just go like this. Hi, we were in a space race. We wanted to win. We made it up. But now, working with the Russians, we're now actually on the moon. Ta-da! Why not? I'm just curious if that would happen. You don't think that would ever would? No. Okay. And I, I would lean towards they'll try to keep a lid on it as long as they can until it blows off. Eventually, right? Sometime it's going to have to be the blown end. off if it was a conspiracy, if it didn't happen. Until the end of humanity. No, because shit gets declassified. One person speaks up and then it just has like, has Eric Snowden proof. Well, yeah. Or until like someone just, yeah, there's a declassification. Like in a hundred years, no one's going to fucking care. Right. But at that 50, point, we don't, why would no we care now? Be, well, because we're not in a race with anyone. We're yeah, not but fighting anyone. People are still alive that like. That were still alive then. Yes. Yeah. So, yeah, you don't want to ruin their illusion that it happened then. Like, it, it's a childhood illusion. That may have yeah. driven me to become something, right? Yeah. Like, holy shit, and, America can do X. So right, gonna, and yeah, are there true. people that are still alive that made those decisions to cov- to possibly cover something up? Obviously right. not Nixon and not Johnson, but other people in power. You know, the head of NASA, is he still alive? Probably not. Werner's gone. That I don't fucking know who dick. He should have been a fucking. At a, he should have been killed in Nuremberg. Okay. Well, yeah, the number uh, one guy. Yeah, the V two rocket. We know. Thank you. The so, Nazi. <whistles> asshole. Not you. Him. I say asshole in Czech. Arschloch. Oh, that's German. <laughs> it's close enough. They well, they hey, like. This is this is universal symbol for asshole in Germany. This is okay in America. Yeah. Okay. It, okay. In Germany, this is okay. This means asshole, because you look like asshole. So if someone give you okay symbol in Europe, they are not your friend. They are your enemy, because it means asshole. Okay. Thank you for world tour. You're welcome. Vel- very, I mean, welcome. Very nice. Very, very, very nice to welcome you. Very, you. very nice. So Kubrick. Yes. Bum, Makes sense. And then, what movie came out by Kubrick short, well, in 1980? Was it 80 or 80? It was, it was 80, like within a couple of years. Was it a couple of years after that? What? Oh, damn no, it. dude, it was 80. The Shining? I don't know. All right. So Stanley Kubrick does a little known movie called The Shining. Starring somebody. Stephen King. Yes. <laughs> Written by Stephen King. Correct. Starring Jack Nicholson. Thank you. And he's a fucking lunatic in that. God, and he's so good in that. Yeah, he's creepy, dude. Bro, the way, so like his good. facial expressions and shit. Once again. Two Kubrick movies that I need to go back to because I just forgot how amazing they were. I'm always stuck on Full Metal Jacket and Clockwork Orange. Those are my two Kubricks. Yeah. Full Metal Jacket's badass, Full dude. Metal. We did, oh, so fucking good. Uh, I haven't seen The Shining in fucking 20 years. Probably. Yeah, it's been forever for me. So The Shining the comes book, out. I probably should need to read the book, though, because I don't, you know. I bet the book's amazing. Yeah, and uh, we the, the, the clip we saw today, they said that there was some changes made. Um, by Kubrick, by by the director, by Kubrick, outside of the book. Because remember, we're yes. The first thing you said to me was, "How could he have that monologue?" It was it was a book, and I'm like, "Well, was it changed?" Yeah. Were these Steve, these are Stephen King's words? 1980. I was way off. Yeah, okay, so but, yeah, the, the the Shining came out in '80. So, but think about it, 11 years of burdensome, like the pressure of knowing and no one else knowing and hiding and not being able to tell anybody. Yeah. Like if you, okay, you're, cons- you're conscripted by your NASA, I guess conscripted or contract or whatever. Oh, by the way, you can't ever say anything. Yeah. And you, you're the, you're the person making it happen without you. This isn't even happening. And now that it's happening because of you, you need to shut up about it. Now, do, I mean, did he get paid? 
I would think like there had to be a compensatory aspect like to it. A massive if, amount of money. If there had to be a compensatory aspect, right? But the guy was a fuck. The guy was a director for the movie's sake. I don't think he did it to get fame. He just that's. But just then what why he did. did they even ask him? Like they saw two thousand one. Right. Okay, bro. but hang on, hang on, hang I'm on. Just kidding. I'm but just kidding. do they go, hey, dude? We need you to do this thing. And he's like, oh, uh, okay, you're, why, you're why? NASA. Yeah. I'm an artist. <laughs> like, and they go, well, before we can even tell you what it is, you got to sign this NDA. NDA. Right. And he's like, what? Uh, okay. Right. Come into this room. Well, what if it's like this? What it's like, Stanley, bro, we worked together last year without us. You wouldn't have had the inspiration for a lot of your stuff. For your movie, your movie wouldn't exist without inspiration of the, or it looked very different. Who knows True. how good it would look? True. This made it look realist. Whatever. It's like, I scratch your back, you shave mine. Okay. Boom. Now your NDA thing, right? Like, instead of like coming at him like that, like coaxing him and being like, "Hey, bro, we've been working together," and then he's in before it's too late, and then he realizes, "Oh shit, I'm in too deep. I can't get out of this," and he did it for free. Not free. No, he got comp. I'm assuming he's. I'm assuming compensation. It's not about free. It's about whether it's real or not. He's lying to everyone. He knows that he's lying to everyone, right? Wouldn't that be burdensome? Oh yeah. To know the, to know, to watch the guy pull the trigger that hit Kennedy, and it's not Lee Harvey Oswald. Right. I understand. And you're told, yeah, I know you saw that and you took a picture of it, but you, yeah, no. Like, how burdensome would that be? That sucks. Right. That's what I'm assuming. So, 11 years of that before The Shining comes out. Yeah. And then go ahead and talk about some of the scenes in Shining that had these interesting little stretches to some extent, but some made sense. Uh, the, the the biggest one that I thought was the um, the son of Jack, the little boy. Um, one of the first scenes, he's playing with his train and his toys on the carpet and the ball rolls up, and he stands up. He's wearing a fucking Apollo 11 rocket yeah. sweater. Looks like he's launching. <laughs> he it looks like, the, the, he, yeah. And it's early. You're like, yeah, before the movie gets super creepy? Yeah. Like, holy dude. And there's many different. And then there's like A-shaped hedges at the top with one-looking columns underneath. I, I know those are stretches. There's there, a ladder. There's a lot of stretches where There's they, a ladder that looks like, that's open that looks like an A with two pillars behind it. Uh, all, all work and no play makes Dull, Jack, Jack and Dull, and Dull Boy. Boys. A yeah. eleven is Apollo yeah. There's 11. a lot of A eleven references, which I think is a massive stretch. But there are a lot and the of tapestry hanging yeah, on the, the side. Looks like the rocket the of the kids. Yeah, uh, there's a lot of visual say, cues. Yeah, I was going to say um, symbolism, but that's yeah, yeah. Um, where there are images that look like fucking Saturn V rockets. Right. Holy shit! And remember. Apollo. How many people are celebrating Apollo 11 in 1980? So why None. does that kid have a fucking Apollo sweater on? Like, think about just that. Now that I'm thinking about that, like, well, what year did the movie take place in 80? Like, was it present day? Oh, I think, or you know what? It, I don't think they ever talked about it being a time piece. Yeah, I, exactly. So I, so I have a feeling it was just like present day, yeah. whatever, whatever present day was of their time. So 80. say it was in, say it was filmed in 79, which takes a year to whatever. Yeah. It's exactly 10 years after. It's really weird. But the one that really got me was the monologue. Yeah. Was a Nicholson monologue. Where, now, where, I don't know if that's in the, the book or not. What's her name is on the stairs with the bat. With the and bat. He's, and he's attacking. He's like basically verbally at attacking her. her. He's like, you know, the responsibilities. I, I signed a contract and I can't let them down. You know, how hard just that in the guise of the, like in the guise of the government telling you what to do. Yeah. That seems very plausible. Yeah. Very plausible. Yeah. Now, but the rest is, it's sketchy, but it it's weird. It's weird. Look at it. Yeah, why would I, the kid wear an Apollo sweater? Sweater, sweater 10 years after it happened. That's it just weird. Seems, right. Like, he's a kid. They don't even sell those sweaters to 10-year-olds. Like, he's 10. He must have bought it to fit him at 10 when he was a baby. <laughs> Think about that. Like, or you like, got it at a garage sale. Right. right or, yeah, I mean, I remember be. getting, I got hand-me-down clothes oh, from yeah, my cousin. That's true. You can I excuse was it. fucking 12. You can excuse it, but. Kubrick put that in there. Yeah. Kubrick chose that sweater. Oh yeah. Kubrick chose every scene, every letter, every whatever. Yeah. He was meticulous. Now I'm going to, I'm going to say this because I can't say that 
it's easy to debunk that. It is a stretch to say he did the symbolism, but in the eye, in the filter of it being a conspiracy and he doing it, him doing it, it's possible. Yeah. So we're there. So are you ready for the last part of the conspiracy? No. Go ahead. You're not. I mean, that was wrong. Um, I, I, I meant, I meant something completely different. Um, I hope I don't screw this up. Oh, you're going to fuck it up so bad. It's going to be awesome. Bro, don't even, don't, don't even, bro. Okay, so I'm going to ask you one more time. Yeah, I'm ready. Um, would you like to hear my last piece? Yes. Oh, that's not what it was. No, not at all. <laughs> so I am a fucking geek. I'm just going to tell you right you now. You weren't so foil, bro. Dragon... Oh yeah, dragon. Dragon X space dog, uh, crotch space crotch space what? pony space pony. It's a pony. If you want it's it? It's a pony. Let's do it's it. It's a pony. It's a ride pony. my space pony. All right, so Dragon X. Are you familiar with the reusable concept of SpaceX and all that? No. Okay. Basically, what happens? Rockets launch, pieces break off. Yeah. They used to go into the ocean, then they retrieve them or whatever. Yeah. They now self-land onto landing platforms. Wow. No joke. Watch the fucking videos. It looks amazing, but I'm going to say it this way. This is where I get conspiracy. Okay. I love the idea of the reusable. It makes total sense with new gyros, and now that we have the hover rounds and the the segways, right? Like gimbals and you can make gyroscopes in, you know, silicon-based. You don't need the whole gimbals and all the craziness, right, to keep shit upright. Okay. It's super fast, super amazing now. That's like all of our technologies, like gimbal based, you know, whatever. Okay. So that's what keeps a rocket long. So it takes, it, it takes off, breaks up. This thing then goes and it falls back to earth. And then it straightens itself out. And right before it lands, it goes, and then it lands vertically onto a platform. It's fucking awesome. I've watched it a good few handful, thousand times. Thousand times. <laughs> The first one I saw, I went, that looks computer generated. I'm not saying it is. Watch the videos. Just wa- we'll watch them. I'm like, holy shit. That doesn't look real. Man, it look because like, first of all, it's outside of my scope. No way could we fucking have something just land vertically after falling. You know what I mean? Like, so part is my doubt that that's even possible. So my head gets in the way, okay. but it looks, it looked fake. Dragon X took off, right? First time we had manned, we had men flying in first in twelve years. The United States launch men. Twelve years. The thing happens. It goes to land, and you see the video of it happening right before the fucking as it's coming down. The 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 thing's called "I Love You." The "I Love You" boat. It's like a boat. It's like a docking state. It's in the, it's in the ocean, yeah, just okay. in case. Yeah, but it's like on the ground. It shakes. Video goes out and then it's upright. It comes back and it's fucking on the ground done. I think they turned off the feed, switch to one where it's just sitting there just in case. Cause they can say, Oh, the vibration of the rocket as it's landing, cut the video, cut the video, you know, it shook too much. Cause I've seen it do it before, but it's like the timing of that. Watch it. I'll, so I'll something you. happened possibly or nothing happened. It, it could have cut out the feed and it really landed and we don't know. I can tell you what we saw live was shake, black out, said, I love you at the bottom. We're like, why the fuck say I love you feed? Because that's the name of the drone boat. It's called I love you. And then the video feed comes on and the rock is just sitting there. Like everything's fine. Like, uh, okay, it just landed. Weird, bro. Weird. I'm just saying. So on that... Oh, with that, we are pretty much done, sir. Is it foil time? So, one more thing, ladies and gentlemen. We'd love for you to subscribe to our podcast. www.knockedconscious.com and www.beergoogles.com. That's W-O-O-G.com. Uh, they all direct to our podcast that we are now live. Sir, congratulations again. I salute you True with my champion. tin, my tin foil brigade salutes you. Thank you for making this happen, man. Because honestly, without without your help, I wouldn't have anything. Uh, but 
an old rambly guy who probably poops himself a lot. Without you, sir, I wouldn't have this hat. Well, you're welcome. Oh, you didn't thank me. <laughs> you're just making a comment. Without you, I wouldn't have this hat, asshole. <laughs> thank you, sir. Comma, asshole. Uh, for this hat. <laughs> and with that, we talked about the moon landing today. Once again, we're not saying one or the other, but there's a lot of weird shit going on. And the more you look into it, the more confusing it's been for me. So we don't know shit. We don't know shit, but that's the great thing. We still ask. We still ask. Curiosity is all that matters, my friend. And I love killing the cat, so. Um, look, I got nine. And they got eight more after that, so you can get curious eight times and still be alive. Ye- I don't even like math. No, I don't know. So, w- once again, notconscious.com, beergoogles.com, at KnockedCon on Twitter. Instagram is at knocked conscious. We're going to put up some pictures today, but you're going to hear this like months later. So it really won't matter, but we're going to do that today because we had a pretty fucking successful weekend. My friend totes my goats. We put out some videos or some podcasts and people listened. Stop it. Yeah. Why? Now we just need comments. Yeah. If you have any topics you'd like us to cover, knocked conscious is basically the more, uh, we kind of uncover things. We like to be a little more worldly global. We care about people. The reason I believe Chris and I are so angry at times is out of frustration because we want the world to be, we, we would love the world to be a different than it is. Peace and love. Yeah. We just want to look, don't be a dick. Bro. Yeah. Don't, don't be, be a dick. 2020. Um, that's really what not conscious is about. Don't be a dick. And I think lying about landing on the moon is being a dick. So that was it. Um, we're going to have a lot of these and I'm so grateful, brother. Thank you so much. Peace out. Good champion. Um, subscribe, leave comments, tell us, give us some ideas. Beer Googles is great. Cause we just fuck around. We just get drunk and look up random shit on the internet. So tell us what to watch, sir. Are we out? We are. We are. Bye Felicia. Can you show it one more time, my friend? Bye, Felicia. Spear fingers, jazz hands. Spear fingers, jazz hands. Thank goodness that this thing. Saved you, dude. Saved you. you know what's really funny? I'm so stupid that I played the Beer Googles ending after. Why did you stop that, bro? Because I'm not done my monologue, man. I, I already criticized myself. <laughs> All right. Well, for the for the, for the the audio podcast, uh, I played the not conscious intro and the beer Googles outro. So I'm an idiot. So don't listen to anything, whether I believe in, in moon landing or not. So thanks, everybody, for joining. Have a great day.